Okay. Now, real quick, uh, I'm not playing Master Duel. Let me... That's the kind of thing. Uh, the... Coffin of... What is it? Andy and Lele. Cool. Alright, three, two, one, go. Oh, you can fast forward dialogue? Okay. The coffin written in paint. Alright. Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Uh, I just go over and you. I thought she was your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Good morning, Ashley. Uh, as much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. Uh, oh my god, it's white noise, how thrilling. Who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this? The freezer is completely empty. That's a freezer? Looks like you put a corpse in there. Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. Hey, anything can be eaten if you put your, if you put your mind to it. You're not used to filling your stomach with water. But it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Oh wait, you're used to filling your body with water. Inside the cabinets is... Nothing! A lone trash bag. Nothing worth mentioning is inside. Front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. GAME! The game's frozen. My whole computer is frozen. Whatever, just leave it. Just leave it for now. Your parents have fucked on this path. This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. Also, why is the... Oh. It's already been scavenged several times and it's truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? Got a can of tomatoes. Amazing! You should show that to your brother. Where is he? Um, game. 
in. Game. There we go. Dirty laundry. In the trash, lie your hopes and dreams. <laughs> exactly where they belong. <laughs> oh, that's good. And game's frozen. Should turn this into a drinking game. Except you'll die a miserable death if you do. Oh, there we go. There's an old drawing in the drawer. Andy and Lele. And the very, very quiet. It says Andy and Layla and the very, very quiet. In all capital letters. No, sorry. It's Andy and Layla and the very, very quiet. As your original version clearly intended it. Your artistic abilities have not increased since. They're still better than mine, so. The alarm clock is ticking away. A hoodie. Didn't even know that was interactable. You show him the tomato can. Dada. Not the reaction you were hoping for. Um. Dada. We're not eating that. Huh? No. At the very. No. That's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know it was in... Because I hid it there away from you. <laughs> I live in the den of snakes. Ah, uh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? If the game didn't freeze, that's what would help with that. Game. The game's frozen. Fuck my life. There we go. No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. The balcony door is locked. A mop. Detergent. Drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. It's a washing machine. It's a cleaning closet. Inside are various supplies such as trash bags. Oh, that's amazing. That is... <laughs> that is the most spammable toilet I've ever seen. Like, that's gotta be clean after that. Hold up. Good day, are you alive in there? No. The game's frozen, so very much not. Damn, this music is good, though. Hmm. 
There we go. Hello? You w if you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living either. <laughs> I'll take it as a yes, yeah, still alive. And don't blame me for for the delivery guy screwing up. Can you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in I'll check in on you later. Bye bye. No, wait! Wait, wait, come back! He doesn't. God damn it. <sighs> you boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious bo boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right there, right here. No salt though. You've used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid over, uh, over hydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'll say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. Honestly, same. It is in that moment that an om ominous audio assaults your eardrum. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. What? What is the music for? Are they fucking? Are they masking out the noise? An ashtray. There are no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. <laughs> hmm. Can't really see squat from here. You contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't even think about it. Ah, oh, he's no fun. Guess you'll have to set something up to cross. Oh, that. Got a wooden plank. Okay. Oh, game's frozen. I think they are fucking in there. Just trying to bask out to, to mask the noise with the with the music. And the game's so frozen, even the audio disappeared. Oh fucking finally. Set down the wooden plank. Um can I, uh, can I? I can't. Let me save real quick.
I don't. Okay. Let me reopen the game. Maybe it'll help a little bit more. All right. Um, I'm just waiting for the game to open again, but it won't for some reason. Yeah, it ain't opening. Um, Oh my god, okay. Alright. This is gonna be even worse, isn't it? Oh wow, it's about fucking time. Honestly, I'd be kind of glad they're not fucking. Um, oh, demons from hell, hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice. Didn't think he was a fucking cultist. God damn it, what am I doing wrong? I thought, I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time to let us watch TV? Oh. That works. Uh, you might want to remove the plank before someone... Before that guy comes in and kills you, but alright. Eh, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Meh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, who is you? It is. Did you find the batteries? No. Coffee machine sits alone, sad and abandoned. There are only so many times you can brew the same ground, so no one- so no more coffee in this house. Okay, grab the batteries then. Surely the coffee machine has batteries in it. A plug? What's that? Dirty laundry. A hoodie. Alright, the phone. Mother won't pick up no matter how many times you call. We've also tried to order food a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. God damn. Bunch of rented movies. Their due date passed ages ago, but what can you do? <laughs> Detergent. Washing machine. Cleaning closet. Um... I can't find... Where are the batteries? Wait, what is that? What, what the fuck? Why is there just a... Like a black thing? Like a... Just a random, like, black space there. It's just some dirt. 
I can't find it. Um, bothering your satanic neighbor seems to seems like a bad idea. Boxes are full of useless junk. You know what also seems like a bad idea? Keeping the plank there. I've checked everywhere. There's no batteries. A hoodie. Surely the... Okay. You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. Wow. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang-up job. More. Oh, you... Heaven sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too. It's starting. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to tainted water si situation. We're happy to announce that all departments to which the tainted water have had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those who are, whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today, cheers. I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Wait, where's my room now? Wait, mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom? Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker! There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear those lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-up. Of, of a fixer-upper. What the fuck does that mean? So I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you? What, what do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore, I won't answer. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Oh, there's two beds, I just realized. After reminiscing all night, you wake up as one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up, up a bit. 
up some laundry, some laundry. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it. Do we even have any detergent left? I can't. Alright. I'm not going to get this clean with your bare hands. Fair. Wait a minute. The plank is still there. I'm telling you, girl, that's not a good idea. Got a mop. Detergent. Mop down some dirt. Mop down some dirt. Mop down some dirt. And mop down some dirt. What else is there to take care of? Trash. Um, I mean, I guess the laundry. Um, is there a washing machine in the in the toilet? Yeah, yeah. You run the laundry. What else could you clean? I don't fucking know. The trash bags, but no. No, oh, I can't clean those. Um... Empty freezing. I guess take a shower, maybe? No? Um... There's nothing too clean. Andrew's too exhausted to chat. Fucking useless cunt. Um... Oh, cleaned up some books. Uh, returned all the books to the shelf. You're feeling dizzy. Damn it, Ashley, I told you not to overdo it. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantined households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, We'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated departments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, we s uh, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness. <laughs> You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course, what is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ear. No, no. Go ahead. 
Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or, I can try asking her, but... No. Or, I mean, yes. But that doesn't... No, I'm not angry, I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out uh, all the words. I think that's... I think that's what, mother? Always about you don't lay Ash and Ashley and had the time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it then. Now it's quite on both ends. Well, alright, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for it. A faint beep 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 of a dropped call can be heard. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Ooh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? Uh, how should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's uh, apparently perma-quarantined? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever, you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out... Uh, now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Oh, he's still here? Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too! Please, please, I'm starving. Soon, the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then, what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Think they'd bring me food if I got pr Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. Says Con. Um... He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows. He might just... He might... He just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever. It was just a thought. Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. We are just too exhausted. That is so off-center. I... But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, that does not... That does not look like full of energy. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? 
How long have you been locked in your apartment now? Why the hell does Andrew get the energy to make such so much noise? I don't think that's Andrew. Oh. He has unscrewed the lock and it is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred on the other from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you. The delivery will be in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang bang. Wait, now you better stop bang bang banging on the door. Or next, it'll be me hanging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. You think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though, I guess we'll see. And see you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. <sighs> Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So... Parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You'd think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you... Like, don't you want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. No, I don't. Care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I'm gonna jump off the balcony. Ooh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not. Though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? Why, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance... Not romance, I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? I wish he just... Oh, it worked. You feel like you should check up on that. Alright, let's see. My lord, you've come. And you're... Uh, a little smaller than I imagined. I... I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's what I meant. What do you offer, human? Oh, um, I... I don't have much to give right now. But if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Darkness clouds your vision and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision ret returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist.
So, uh, am I already delirious or did you see that too? Do we, um, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I'm not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. Make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has that we can eat. Ooh, burglary time. Shut up and let's get in there. The doorknob haunts you from the other side of the glass. Got an ashtray. Door unlocked. There we go. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. <laughs> Though, I mean... Is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him. Isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Ah, uh, but we can't... If we do he eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. It's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well... I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Well, does staff here admit that they didn't give us food, though? No. And before that, you're going to tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly. Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh, yeah. Alright then. Let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. Alright, well, I see the machete there, but... I want to... I want to check... A little bit. I want to explore. But the fridge and the freezer are, em are empty. While looting the jacket's pocket, you find... A wallet with... <laughs> 666.66 bucks inside. Now you've got a real moral dilemma here. Stealing a dead man's wallet, will you? Absolutely. Oh, is that so? I'll just steal it while you sleep then. Though you may not have it for very long. On the table sits a book titled Demon Summoning for Dummies, Volume 666. Wow, did they actually have 665 volumes before this one, or... She asks the important questions. But what I want to know is, who the hell wrote it in the first place? Undisclosed. The author must be shy. Well, either way... We can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. The bathroom smells of feces and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Yep, I'm good. You got a cleaver. So... You get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, you chop the cultist's right arm. Next up is the left arm. We can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No. Can't you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. You need to conceal this be before taking before taking it with you. Uh conceal? With what? 
I guess that. Um. This closet's it's big enough to hide in. Andrew must chop 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 the rest. Taking the lead. Okay, let's see. I need to conceal this before taking it. While yes, these are perfectly suitable plastic bags, they're also full already. You'd rather not carry the meat you're about to eat inside a used trash bag. Find something else. Hey Ever, how you doing? Um, is there any bags anywhere here? What's this? Um, it's a game I've been told not to play. I remember like a couple weeks ago, someone told me not to play this game. Uh, and then I was like... I don't know, that <laughs> telling me not to play a game makes me want to play it, so... And then I've been seeing it around a lot. Like, I, I've been seeing, like... I, I've been seeing, like, more and more people start playing it, and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm curious now, you know? Um... But yeah, we're basically... Andrew must have returned this here. Oh, there we go. I actually kind of like the premise. It's actually like really, it's actually like a really good uh, premise. Oh, there we go. Got left leg, left arm, right leg, right arm. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over. I, I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. <laughs> yeah, see? If anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! <laughs> Good god, no, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. Alright, alright, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in, the, in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. just said he'll deal with this. Um, take the limbs to our free uh, to our freezer before they start decaying. Yep. Okay. I mean, to be fair, this guy just now died. You know, they won't decay that fast. You place the severed limbs in the freezer. Which one do you want to eat? I'll eat the. The leg should have more bones, uh, no, not more bones, more meat, right? Left leg. Alright, time to cook. You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Munch, munch. Huh? What? Oh, you already... Okay. 
Need it, Andrew. You will not waste this. Uh, right. Andrew takes takes a bite out of your cooking. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. He begin he begins retching. No, you don't. Swallow. All of it. Gulp. Well, well, how is it? It's... God, I hate Peaky Eaters. I make this with love. They're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. And quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, alright? Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy, I'm so proud. Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left. But what do you think I should try next? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. Hey Ashley. If we ever get out of here, you really should get your head checked. Huh? Just a thought. Sweet dreams. You fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. Now loading. Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least, I thought she was a friend. So, are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross, no. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing... Before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person for that matter. Screw you. I'm the most personist lady in the world. So anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the... In one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. <laughs> you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse, and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she was your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it properly. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. <sighs> do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray, you're the best. Today's episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Bitch in the Box. One day you'll be a you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? It looks like they're at school. I think they just got out of school. The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? 
Finally. Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise! I wanna hang out too! Oh... I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No, why? <laughs> just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come out with a- come out- hang out with a boy. No way. She thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What does that even mean? It means she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? Let's find a way in right now. Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do that, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Huh? Even though it's this flimsy? Yes. I... I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful to us in this situation. I sure can. As in, to help, to help us get in the warehouse. Okay, yeah, in that case, no. Ugh, Lele, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing, let's keep looking. What's a mallet? It's like a hammer. You know, like, Thor's hammer? Like, where it's like, you know, double, it's like, you know, like that. That It's kind of like that. It's like a hammer, like a, like a very, like... It's like a hammer, but it doesn't have, like, the, the little ears behind it, you know? Like, you know, look, it's like this, this thing. This thing, here. It's kind of like Thor's hammer. Also... The drop-off on the other side of the window is too high. Though, I wouldn't mind convincing to jump anyway. To maybe twist her ankles, maybe break her neck. Is something wrong? <laughs> nah, but we can go- But we can't go in this way. Alright, here's the hammer. I got a hammer. You use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Is this a horror game? It's like a... Not necessarily horror. I guess it could classify as a horror game, but... It's more like a messed up game. Wow, it sure is. <laughs> Dust... Kinda dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Uh, you're such a kid. Huh? Andy wants to play too. You do? What? Oh, yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I... I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. A hundred. Count to a hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two... Alright. Let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course. She said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lele. You promise. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Container is already full. Uh, oh, there's like a, there's like a box here. Since it's spooky, I guess it's kind of spooky. I don't know. Ooh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't! Place a stick or something between the rings. That'll keep it close. Won't the stick just break? No, well... If she's hunched inside, I doubt she'll have the leverage to... Ready or not, here I come! Ah, oh, crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. 
<laughs> Let's hide, hide. I guess this is a this is a hiding spot, right? Okay. Why do we get a stick anyway? And he picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this will do. Well... What do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No, who do you think, dumbass? Ah, uh, she's fine, I guess. Found you. Both of you. Who hides in the same spot? Idiot. <laughs> I... It was my spot first. Then you're it. No way. Andy stole my spot, so he's it. Yes, yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one... Uh, I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Um, okay. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo. Who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred! Oh, shoot. He's coming. Hurry, hurry! Eh? Uh, uh, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Hop! Oh. Huh? What was that? <laughs> I got you now. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. This isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. I, I can't breathe. Is she alright? Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen! Let her out, uh, Lele. She's just pretending. No one ever dies from some dust. <coughs> Come on, just let her out. What? You'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine. You let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? <laughs> everyone likes her better. But you like her better too. But everyone does. I already know. <laughs> I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you. I don't want... And bet... Sniff... Bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's... I mean, maybe she did, but... It's not fair. Why does everyone like... Like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I, I like you better, Lele. Prove it, liar. <sighs> I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say... Ah la la, talk sure is cheap. God damn it. <laughs> Ash. There, are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Just until morning, okay? Wait, just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. You hear that? You get to stay here until morning. No, please. Ashley. Let me help, please. <laughs> Ashley, wait, don't... Go. Ashley, please. Ashley? Ashley? Are you awake? I am now. Um, okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just... 
God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. So I didn't do anything wrong. You mul- <laughs> You mutilated and ate a corpse. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Call the warden and let- Let him know how he died? Uh, yes. Um, sir, he summoned the demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, I... We wouldn't have had to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What, what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh, whoosh. There goes my magic wand. There. I've absorbed you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Ugh. Isn't this like some extreme circumstance stuff? Like, can't we be exhausted? Wait, oh wait. Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in for months and then they don't even feed us. And the cabin fever is a real thing. Wait, and is cabin fever even a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Uh, there, there, there. No, I... Couldn't get this head... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like... He didn't fit in the freezer properly. He didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... A anyway, I kinda just... Uh... Like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like some plant, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. Uh, I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I... I compartmentalize. What the fuck does that mean? Kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley! <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? Andrew. Andrew. Andy. I Told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wah wah, mommy. The big bad did the evil... The big bad... The big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Make me, you little bitch. Forget it. Hey Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lele's quest for something or another, remember? Why bring this up? Isn't it just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation. Then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will, personally. But, you can go to therapy. Like, I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago.
Now that we've got food, don't you want to just keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this copping of a house or getting railed in prison. Ah, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Lele and the escape from the coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. Love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. Uh, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. <laughs> A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <sighs> Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. Let's check on that corpse. Oh, hi. I didn't think you were here. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway... It says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here. Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So, what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Hmm. Okay, then what will we, we bargain with? I don't know that either. Just use the cultist's, like, corpse. Nice. I, I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here, demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley? What? I wouldn't... Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought? Let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet. But you can start by replacing the candles for now. Got two candles. Alright, three candles. Three candles. Place candle. Place candle. The place can I don't think it's supposed to be like so far away, but alright. Done. What now? Now we still eleven kicking, are you? You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. <sighs> yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B type anyway. <sighs> Fine, I'll check it after my round. The warden's footsteps moved away from the door. Is that all we would have... 
Is that all we would have had to do to get this door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No. Go before he notices we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. What are you going to do? Lick it clean? Get the mop, you dumb bastard. <laughs> How are we mopping the blood clean, but the symbol is still intact? Make it make sense. Ashy, what? What did that say? Huh? What are you doing here? Oh shit. Sadly, the warden soon calls over his body. You gotta take him back to your apartment. After which, you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. Ashley, the warden is coming. Okay. Oh, right. The, the closet. Listen, this is it. Listen, this isn't it. Okay. Alright, alright. You hid in the closet successfully. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Oh, great. Another suicide. What the? How did you get in here? Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him not if this is your fault. Come on then, Lele. Let's go play. Sheesh. I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. Hey, more food. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. Alright. Oh, looky here. Got key to room 405. He's still dead. No shit, Sherlock. I think I'm able to leave. At last, you unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for 
for eating the other guy just went out the window because of your screw up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if you hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends. And the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see? I'm not sure you're grasping at the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I... Okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes! Exactly! Yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I am not going to jail because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off, who do you think you're talking to? It's... I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There is a half-dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm? All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad, or any of our of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt... Not one of them felt it was necessary to even answer my calls. Or come filing food up to come to our balcony. Would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is no one came to try. So my affections, so my affections officially died with this, uh, with all the brain cells I lost while starving. <laughs> but it's alright, because Andy is here with me, even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> alright, alright, let's get the hell out of here already. Oh, what's this? 302. Half eaten cup, cup of noodles. Note on the fridge reads Notice from now, AB types won't be given supplies except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from 302 being hot does not count as important. Stop asking. It's the toilet. There's nothing of interest inside. Various documents detailing the selling and acquiring of organs. I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, damn it. Lucky, they've got a little surveillance camera. Ah, crap, are we on it? No. Looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh? Let me see. Great, there's another word in there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope. 
He only had a key to the cultist room and the walkie-talkie. <sighs> Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah. They probably work in pairs of, in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else and keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. <laughs> we have a mat that's... Like, we have a doormat that just says fuck off. I love that. This is all to keep us in? A wooden board? It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. You say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Eh, whatever. What's the slip of paper say? The paper slip taped on doors reads two times AB. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, don't care. Yeah. Let's just focus on getting out of here. Unlock the door. No, it reads one O. Oh. But it's crossed over. No, it reads 2A, 1B. So only A, B don't get food. It's a plastic plant. How can you read? How can you read that upside down? Uh, you turn your head. <laughs> Or, like, you read it backwards. Go to... Third floor. Let's see what happens if we get... Locked. Note on the door reads 1A, but it's crossed over. I'm guessing the ones that are crossed over are dead. A note on the door reads 2B. The elevator is out of order, because of course it is. Sounds about right. Oh! Well, hello there. A bunch of dirty dishes. Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbor's from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out. We found the keys, and though you might w and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What? Don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want- why would I want out? I get free food, and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait. They actually bring- They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All I gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely? Ashley! Fuck you! Get out, both of you. A nail gun. Looks like someone gave up assembling the furniture. I wonder who. Hey! Did I give you permission to go there? Leave before I make a scene. Uh, not like that will help much. The fridge is full of food. Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. 
that okay to leave her there after she saw us though probably not but you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream then the second warden comes in and shoots us uh this is so hopeless i think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get out of the second to get rid of the second ward warden hmm well if we can get this woman up to the cultist's room we've got we've got us a soul to offer how on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room beats me let's just finish setting up the ritual for now all right you really think i'm not pretty enough oh come on so ugly am i that I shouldn't even be. I don't. Eh? So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while you I'm loitering around the house? Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. Says Con. Go to fourth floor. The rune is faded out. 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 So, what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes, though. I'll just redraw what the guy had already drawn. They seem to work. You double check if this warden also has a gun tucked away somewhere. But all you find is the walkie-talkie. Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal. At that point, we're screwed anyway. What if we call the Warden Nova with this? And we have a demon eat his soul. That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. Though, he'll come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Now, uh, let me think. Got walkie-talkie. While he's at it, you dip your fingers into the dead warden's wound. Got blood. I have an idea. Oh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And, uh, how are you going to make her do that? You know how. Alright then, let's go convince her. Or was there something else that you still need that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden's on his way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Imagine it then doesn't work. Go to third floor. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off of me. What's going to happen now is that... You'll... Coo You'll... What? Is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Guess the emoji? No, I'm good. Tell them you and his friend are looking for. Wait, tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I, I don't understand. You only need to understand. <laughs> 
You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please. I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie. Wait, you press the walkie-talkie on. H hello Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave. Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weird already croaked. Um... <laughs> Nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. Alright, good. Let's go. I let go of her now, and what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise. Go finish it. I'll, I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Lele, catch. Andrew throws you something. Got lighter. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. You have no time to be roaming about now. Turn on the radio. So, what am I supposed to... Yeah, something is here. Who are you? I can't see. You are seeking my name, human? Uh... What do you offer? Uh, yikes. Did I mess up? I won't pay for its name. I'm here! It's kinda dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shocked, the warden reaches for his gun. Ah, him! I offer him! What the... Ah! So, uh... Well, how is it? Human with tar-colored soul. I give you this. God... Unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream. To gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. The entity has left. And you're still alive. Unlike either of the wardens. Man. That all happened way too fast. In the end. I didn't get its name, nor to ask a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me... And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its demon pockets. But no matter, the warden is dead. And if I... Have even one clim clair clairvoyant dream, that'd be cool as hell. You decided not to linger on the fact your soul is permanently a viscous pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. <laughs> Got key to second floor. Got gun. At last, time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady though. Go to third floor. Oh, guess didn't need to. Sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How oh, interesting. That you'd want to make... Take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. 
Uh, I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and here I was wondering why you insist on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not... Celib... Celibate? What's that mean? What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch, and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yes, it is, cockbrain. Now it's definitely not time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me! Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note... Will you back the fuck off? Oh wait, will you back the fuck off my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you were harassed the hell out of her or something. What, she told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. So it really was you. Yeah? All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you stopped ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it when... Bet you bloody love it here where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. Heh. <laughs> and I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I... Fuck, what a prime example of your... You... Just you. <laughs> you would. You would. I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can't just for you. You know, I have just a thing for that. Back of your back and called just like it was way back when. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want, then? Well, see... If you had listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then, why aren't we friends anymore? Uh, of course, we're just... Forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. No, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultist. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. 
I have not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up your s all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock in that crate. Where the fucking cunt choked. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy. My poor Andy. So. That just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me. Me! Jesus Christ. You backpedaling fuck of a brother. You chose me. You did. You did. So. I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. <laughs> you won't. You won't cause... I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night. And you can't take it. I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that. When you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like... Did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you. Can we go? I'd like to go too, but the thing is... You're pissing me off so much right now. So we go now. And you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah. So, I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go w with you very much. Though, if you don't plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. It's not going to be the two of us, and... If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. I don't... Give a shit about... I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us. So what does it matter? As long as it's just us... Are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though, I'm assuming we'll get out of here in the first place. We're getting out of here in the first place. <laughs> That's right. Our quest continues. What did we name the episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so... spineless. And I hate Lele. Like you wouldn't believe. Ha? Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Play a game for a bit? Alright, have fun. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes! I've got the keys to the second floors. And also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later? <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Go to second floor. Okay. The elevator is out of order. Ah, oh, look, an open window. 
Great. Jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to... Don't want to take your chances with that? Damn it. Isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? Damn, everyone is dead here. I guess there's this plant. That's kind of a rope. No? What if we climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it though. You hold it while I descend. Oh yeah, not just... <laughs> oh yeah, not just jump into your arms while you're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Hell no, it won't. We've got to set up something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well... Let's leave it by the window for now. A oh, carpet. Hmm. I mean... You could just smash the glass, like the window glass, and then... You need something to secure the carpet with. You could just smash the window glass and then tie the carpet, like, around the frame. And... But I guess not. I mean, you could use maybe the the planks. Also, a camera there. What if there's something on? The oh, there's a chair here. Uh, guess not. That is stone. Your happiness is immeasurable. <laughs> Got nail gun. Oh. <gasps> oh. I mean, I guess that also works. The two of you use the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. It doesn't look safe. There has got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent now. I mean, I guess. <sighs> Alright, you first then. Damn right I go first, I'm a lady. You climb down very unladylike. Well, we're out. So, what happens now? Well... What happens now is that we'll skip town. And then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. Then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good god, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. And then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. <sighs> I... Even then, I don't think that's going to... Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll all work out. At least we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We'll eat those who won't pay the toll to cross. <laughs> How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. 
I am. I'd start by catching a bus. I'm so happy. I'm happy to be out of there too. And otherwise... I'm a hair away from a panic attack, thanks for asking. I didn't... I didn't get to tell you before, but the... Um, friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now, but who knows? Well, I hope you do. It'll be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep. So you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah. Completely stuck. Hehe. <laughs> You got in a bus and drive the hell out of here. Vroom vroom, motherfucker. End of episode one. Wanna save or something? Save game? No, fuck you. Now I'll save. Oh. So one. Oh, damn, that was. Wow, episode one was long as shit. Hmm. <sighs> Wait, I thought escaping that place would be like the whole game, but no, there's more. You are finishing up with what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The odds that there is something new are non-existent. Just let me check. Uh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So, no money then? And I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. Like, goddamn, I just wanted to stay at a hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? I mean, technically we still have the 666.66 dollars that we stole from the dude, so... I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. Boo-hoo, the motel is just fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was it just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet. Ah. What? I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey now, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True. Let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Wait, oh wow, it's... Like, actually, it's... Oh, there? Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? <laughs> Fuck off from there! God damn, what a bitch! Wow, how many episodes does this game have? Oh my god. Just uh, very quickly, let me check. So, mm. 
Mm. A potted plant uh, subsists among cigarette buns. Also, uh, I just checked. There's only two episodes. So, that's cool. There's a bunch of call girl ads stuck to the wall. Oh my, maybe I should leave my number here. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash. And it would be tax free to boot. Say another word and I'll backhand you. Sheesh, learn to take a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, dumbass. You're so out there that I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even own a phone right now. And would you honest to God backhand me just like that? Well, not right here anyway. Wow. Okay, wife beater. <laughs> nah, don't say that. It's only towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks. An ad for a coffee shop. It's just difficult to imagine... The aroma of a warm cup of coffee with trash rotting right next to you. And, um... Are you tired of living? Inquiries the ad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. The soft drink ad. There are three new exciting flavors. Limited time only. Try them now or miss out forever. Ooh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. We can't afford any nonsense right now. Oh, come on. It's just a couple of bucks. You can have that or you can have dinner. It's up to you. Uh, this sucks. It's limited time, too. Damn. FOMO. Don't. You told me it's my own choice whether I want dinner or soda. Well, I lied. Fuck your soda. Up yours, Andrew. What do you even... What What do I even put up with you for? I ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not wasting money on this, and that's final. Which one of these is ours? This isn't the room you're staying at. And thank God for that. A putrid stench wafts from within. Hold on, let's go the other way. I'm curious. Mm. And then you go run over by a car! <laughs> Just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The park is this way, but there's nothing of interest there at this hour. Right. Um... No, now I'm trying to catch the news. There's... There isn't going to be anything about us in there, no matter how many times you check. Whatever. Did you find the gun yet? Also, pack your things. We have to leave in the morning. It's the paper from a few days ago. There's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your own ass with. All in all, a total waste of money. Andrew has been hoarding newspaper ever since you arrived. The closet is empty, except for... Reclaimed your gun. Nice. Though, it's not really yours anyway, but whatever. The warden's gun is yours now. I mean, hey, the warden isn't here to, to use the gun, so... 
It might as well be mine now. Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Only to then have a panic attack every other night. There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. There's an article... Wait, the article details instruction for people in the area to stay home and seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Hey you! Are you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, it's so wet. Have you tried Toxy Soda? It's water, but worse. Now in three new flavors. Awful, gross, and nasty. Try them today. Mmm, -hmm. Toxy Soda tastes like life. I don't know why I'm drinking this. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Hey, get your fat ass out of the way. Ass? I think you meant my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. Move, you cow. Whatever, wanker. Alas, I cannot watch the news off your fat tits. Would you mind getting out of the way, dear sister of mine? I am not fat. How could I be after starving for so long? No, you're right. But you're also in the way. Apologize! I'm sorry that you can't understand I'm trying to watch TV. You're so lucky I love you too much to shoot. I appreciate it. And I would appreciate you too if you moved a little to the left. Hey, that's the name of a game. You're supposed to say that you love me a lot too. I do, now fuck off! Andrew pretends not to see you. Or your fat tits. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. We'll do it. You throw the laundry in the washer. Game. Um. Game. There we go. I'm gonna save because... I don't know if this is made in RPG Maker MP. If it is, there's a good chance it'll crash. All done. You're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean and I'm... And I'm a feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob? Knock it off. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. <laughs> I should have known. Oh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? Gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are, I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname, get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked of you. And it's... And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. 
Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I'm actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. Though you're not going to find me... Wait. Though you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now to some less important news. One of the quarantine departments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burnt the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This, apartment's, this apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess better burned to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you to try our Toxy Soda. <laughs> we just rolled out three new and exciting flavor. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say drink our trusty bubbly poply, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed. Uh, bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway. That was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense and correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um, they must think we died too. And all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it all worked out. Hey, May, how you doing? That still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever. Whatever. Things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. Great. That's good. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. See yourself. Good night. There's no pillow. As usual, you fall asleep without a car in the world. Oh. Auto. Someone has entered the room. God damn. Wake up! We've got to go! Uh, mm. Get up! I had a vision! We're about to get killed! We've got to go now! It's too pricey. I think the dream of the person who know about the fire, I think. Uh, the dream is... Yeah, it might... Apparently we left the oven on from the fire. Hold on, let me... Let me say... Oops. Uh, oh, I guess I can't. Okay, cool. That solves that. So, wanna stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? What did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? 
Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messed with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you impotent too, by the way. It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? Ah, I said enough. Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you're expecting to come slit your throat. Though, he sure looked familiar anyway. Was that the... Was that the cultist neighbor? Didn't we eat that guy? Don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up in the store and, in the, and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on! Hehe. <laughs> Seriously, though, I guess there's more from where that... Uh, there's more from when that, where that came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why, a sex and drugs party with demons, duh! Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand there alone in the middle of the night. You're also curious about what this cultist lookalike is up to. Uh, fine, you go. But come back soon. You are Andrew. Nice, we got to play as Andrew, finally. Oh, he took a whole episode. Oh good, you're not going after all. What? I am. I just... Did you see which way he went? Into the alley. Right. Are you going or not? I wanted to say that if that guy from your vision does show up, don't do anything. Why yes, Andrew. I'm actually not brain dead, believe it or not. I don't. Uh... Anyway, just hide if you see him. Will do. Bye-bye. My, my. Someone is feeling chatty tonight. You went into the alley next to the shop, right? See you later. Oh. Wait. Amongst the other crap the vending machine offers... Amongst the other crap, the vending machine offers caramelized apple and cinnamon soda. You wonder if you should buy Ashley some after all. Fine. Wait, I can go back in here. There we go. Oh yeah, you totally have nightmares as often as you claim. Hmm? You keep hoping there'd be something useful in these papers, but there never is. Game. 
game. Fucking finally. Welcome back. Um, now you know where all the cultists get their extremely fashionable robes. Sadly, the shop is closing. You can't buy one right now. Hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. <laughs> Curse you brats. Buy a waste. Maybe you'll start eating out uh, off here once your money runs out. Mixed waste. Staff only, it says. Staff only, it says, and it's locked. Recycling point, that seems to double as a smoking area. Cardboard recycling, apparently approved by the devil uh, in the graffiti on the wall is anything. If the graffiti on the wall is anything by, to go by. It's asking for a passcode. I wonder what the passcode is. Yeah, I thought so. I th <laughs> Of course. I don't know why I even entertained the idea of it being anything else. Huh? What? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoot, shoot. Is this the sex and demons party? Isn't this the demon sex party? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. Oh well. Just regular demon, demon summoning then? I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, sorry. I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. Alright, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invited anyone. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. You should be glad. So, I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... You decide you should, you decide you should get inside somehow and find out. Ah, uh, what do I care? What do those clowns? What do I care? What those clowns are up to anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you, uh, you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got employee key. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, I did not mean to do that. I wanted to go back to thingy. At all. 
Well, game said no. You know what? I'm gonna go boil the kettle. Let's see. What do you have to say? Hey there, I got you something. Ooh, is that? You handed the caramelized apple and cinnamon soda. I know, I disappoint myself too. Can't believe they got me with their limited time only bullshit. Yes! Thank you, let me try some right now. Ashley opens the can and takes a sip. Well, any good? You can have the rest. It's gross too. That's just great. <laughs> it tastes like yeah, it tastes like what nail polish smells like. What a waste of money. Not at all. My curiosity is sated. Chemical burn on my tongue aside. I really am mighty pleased with this random act of kindness. What do you want in return? My virginity? Jesus fucking Christ, that's enough of that. I mean, if you go to a bar and a dude buys you a drink, isn't that the logical conclusion? Which bar is it? I should go sometime. Actually, that doesn't make sense. I doubt the bar browsing bitches are very vir vir virginal. How judgmental of you. She takes another sip of the soda. Ugh, that's nasty. You don't have to finish it, just throw it out. Never! It was a gift! Oh. All done? Just checking to see if you're dead yet. No one has shown up. Maybe it was a vision from some other night? Though, if we're leaving this morning... How could that be? Some night, Some nightmares are just that. I don't have nightmares. This was the first one ever. What? Really? I have nothing but nightmares. Either way, I'm all good. Go back to snooping on the cultists. I don't know how to get in. I don't know how to get in, though. They told me to get lost. Ah, uh, I need to smoke. Go have it elsewhere. I've had enough of your secondhand smoke for tonight. This set of rapery you've ever laid your eyes on. I don't know what the fuck that means, but okay. Two unemployment. Wait, two unemployment office. One blank. One club. Six of you. What the fuck? They're just going to kick you out again. All right. The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cups.
on the cart sit plates of full cake. Wait, full of cake. And a coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. The elevator is coming up. Uh, this is going to take two. Sh this is going to take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Remove paper cups from the cart. Okay. There's a crumpled up note in the trash. It reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals. Someone has left the note. It reads, To whoever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Ah, the office life. Same shit. Different toilet. <laughs> Pull down one of the cur curtains. Got curtain. The guy will be back for the cart soon. Talk. All right. Anything I missed here? Wait, oh. Oh, I did. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. Hmm. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Oh, Dark Lord. That is good. He carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the other? C could it be? The weight of my sins? No. Okay, okay. Be cool. No one has to know. It's between me and the devil. It's act normal. D did I miss it? Shh. I can't see anything from here. Ahem. Well then, everyone. The ritual is all set up. Before I... Uh, no game you should play. It's not real. I don't care. Um, hold on. Let me go and make my coffee real quick.
Alright, I'm back. I'm back in black. I hit the sack. I've been too long. I'm glad to be back. Yes, I got loose from the noose. That's kept me hanging about. Now, I know you're all excited about the free copy, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling Lord Unknown for a while. But it's becoming increasingly clear nothing's going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. My Ashley summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Lord Unknowns is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, I, I brought the carts down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I, I don't know who. Ooh, can we have some now? <sighs> yes, please enjoy yourselves. Where are your robes? Uh, sorry, the thing is I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. Now they've got your answers, you miss Ashley. It should be fine to take two pieces, right? Just look how many there are. He's too busy. There, yeah, he's too busy eating the cake. Wow, someone is underdressed. These cheap asses offer milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I ever drank piss. Well, say something. Um. I guess converse. Where'd you where'd you hear about this gathering in the first place? The cult magazine. I'm subscribed to uh I'm subscribed to had an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but I thought I'd come check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I thought she didn't like it here. Oh. Oh. No service right now. They forgot to set up the candles. <laughs> I'm on stage. It's like I'm famous. She has begun singing. People are staring. Time to get out of here. I mean, the music isn't right either. I think. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Ah, no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe of that getup. Yeah, you can't, you can't come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me, I'll leave right away. Um, uh, good. 
Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Don't know one. I'm trying to see if I can see where the where the guy is. Are you done snoop? Yeah. Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah. So there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats, but they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. There was a vision for sure. There was like... You hear a car. It... That... That's him! That's the guy who slit our throats in my dream. Yikes. He really just went in our room just like that. You still doubted me? Why'd he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold most of the junk you were hoarding. And I can't live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm some I'm somehow even less inclined now. Scoff. You know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy though. There's no random burglary. He has. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like somehow he tracked us down. So even if we run away now. Won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... Ah... Uh, and why is he still in the room? We're not even in there! Well, if I was him, I'd figure we're getting... F uh, we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to... Go about this quietly. Um... He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep. Just like my vision again. And you know this how? I know, because that's what I do, duh. Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew. Just trust me. I've thought these things through. You question why she's thought about such things. Now enough dilly-dallying, let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask? <sighs> Alright, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoor indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12, you should have stopped me. So, should I talk you out of this one, or... No, shut up and follow my lead. You're Ashley, alright. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh, gosh golly, Andrew, I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we don't want to be oh so... And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frolic amongst the foliage. Shielded from sight. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. 
Given that you're about to roam about with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Don't tell me what to do. Save. Yep. Well, congratulations, you found the hitman. <laughs> and died, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman uh, whoops his amateur ass dead. Though, given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without you, probably. I bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. <laughs> the hitman wins, and... <laughs> hitman wins. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> ah, yes, the world is much better off without you. However... This is also anticlimactic. You get a free do-over, alright. Try. Yeah, wash laundry. Holding do the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air. And the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Wait. Hitman's car. The car is locked. This is that guy's car, right? Wanna break in? And take every s and wake every single person on the premises? Why on earth would you want to do that? Huh. I thought you wanted to, you know, off the guy. The last thing we need is an audience. Alright. Cars have alarms. <laughs> Hey, at least I asked before doing it. Is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush from. We can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. An abandoned shopping cart. Very classy. I remember one time I actually stole a shopping cart. Here, this tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes at the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Uh, what a pain. Can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about, mur about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it. You're making me do it? Again? Dude, dude only has a knife. You've got this. Ah, I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait. I never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. Is he gonna appear behind us? You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's there. Crap. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Why'd he stop? To see what we're up to see what we're up to. Bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. Ooh, you dirty boy! No, we can't do it here! Teehee! Off I go, come and find me! I don't want to! Ashley, seriously, I don't know how this thing works! No peeking! Your Andrew. Time has come to play hide and seek with the killer and Ashley. Um, game. Okay, can I uh, can I can I, can I start? Can I um? Oh, there we go. Finally.
in here, didn't she? An attempt or several has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close. They were all so close but couldn't quite sit the landing. <laughs> nothing. There's nothing but trash in the bush. People think they are so clever hiding their candy wrappers and beer cans here. Nothing here. Nothing at all. Oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute? Shh, you didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you or... Shoo, shoo, leave. Leave your dumbass sister to sit in a bush by herself. There are some bugs in the bush, not much else. Nothing. Nothing else. Here he is. Shoot or shoot. I wonder. Did... Is he dead? Nice work. As she reclaims her gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing. I panicked. This thing is useless now. Well, I mean, no one knows it's empty. Uh, I guess so. Do they sell bullets just to, uh, to just anyone, or do you need a license or something? I have no idea. I think you do need a license. Sorry, Ashley. Although, I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him. We still playing the finger pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? You running off out of the blue? What? You need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would... And would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh, genius? Well, he wasn't. Uh, quit your bitching. It all worked out. Clue me in the next. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas, so that I can tell you off. <laughs> all right, playing as best girl again. All right, um. Um, can I please? Thank you. It's locked. Hmm, you know, it would have been pretty smart of me to steal his car keys before coming here. It sure would have. I'm dumb as a stone, what's your excuse? Alas, I'm at the mercy of thy whims, darling sister. Oh, well, you should read my mind then, goddammit. <laughs> my bad, must be the lack of sleep. I'm sure he's still right where we left him. Okay, let's go and... Steal the car keys. If we can. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got... Uh, got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Oh yeah, baby. Let those fingerprints... Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your... Gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Uh, motherfucker. What for? My driver's license. Well... Good thing it's me manhandling this corpse, then. Very dead hitman. That's a cool name for me. What? Oh, 
और आओ All right, let's see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. A little late to worry about that. You've already touched the door, the handle, the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, Consider this a receipt of your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. Ever the optimist. <laughs> As a bonus, we've included free samples of all new soda flavors from our sister company, Happy Washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. Take the car and go. Vroom vroom. So, where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's... For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I'm sure I can. Ah, uh, no, we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer, is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire... Uh, for someone to hire too? If anything, it seems they assumed that guy took care of us. And that's that. The thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. <sighs> we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill our parents? Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. They, so they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now, anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. Feet on the floor. My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Ooh, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry. I'll be goddamned if we... If we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said make me, Andy. I... Okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. 
Oh, come on. It's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I... Yeah, it is. You get so much, it's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll keep going Andy Andy until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well then, it's not funny, and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want to get us in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though. And you're such a dumbass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Drive, Andrew. And so he does, finally. I can decide to give Andrew the sign treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to... You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So, while you wait for him to notice, you're not talking to him. To notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the... You're pretty sure you're dreaming. But at the same time, you feel wide awake. Some red flowers are swaying in the breeze. So... Huh? What? Who's there? Where are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There is no response. There's nothing to step on. Oh wait, I see. Kind of. No wait, that's where I started. Hold on. Step on? Do I have to grab something from somewhere? Oh, picked up her flowers, okay. Threw down some red flowers. Tar soul summoned you to can tune in. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. Ah, uh, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. What is this? Fuck! Where am I? Everything looks the same! Picked up red flowers. Wait. Wait, that, this is the same. Yeah, this is the... Throw down some red flowers. Oh, well, hi. Hello there. Well, you just avoided falling down into an eternal void. Lucky! Ah, it's you! 
I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In the dream, I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. Doesn't even occur that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can do but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? <sighs> he needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover's fight you're having with your brother. It carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future? Ah! Yes, the trinkets you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful, thank you. Then, do you want to see the future again? Uh, sure, I have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I am able to recharge it. You want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Indeed. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine if that's what you want. If that's what it is then. Not yours. Tar soul. Is that like an insult or... Who's then? Just anybody's? And when you... Get some souls yourself. I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen... I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, will you make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kinda... I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk about two about this. I'll be waiting. Uh, right. Alright, I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Ha! Huh? Farewell, Tarso. The entity has left. Oh, I'll take it. Um... Uh, how many are there of what? Um... Chapter, uh, there's two episodes, so, and this is episode two, so I'm almost done. Uh, or, well, I say I'm almost done, but, oh, okay, well, guess I can go back now. That's unfortunate, well, oh, wait, oh, there was one there, I didn't notice, um, wait, 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 wait. There, I can go here. Okay, well, I got what I wanted. <laughs> the door is decorated with eyes. Enter. Why not? There's no door and no way to return. Oops. Um, what if I go through the other door? Door is decorated with red flowers. Enter. Yep. Oh. 
Wait a goddamn second. Um, I keep pressing the wrong thing. Um, all right. Let's enter the I one. Hopefully, whatever this is, it looks unfinished. Oh hi. They all have to look at that. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Ah, vanilla, I see. I'm gonna play? Alright, have fun. There we go. Parcel. <laughs> well, hello again. This is not the path to your home. Oh. Up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought I was already in the demon world. This is the realm in between. Entering the wrong realm unsummoned will result, result in your death. Huh. So it's fine as long as you're summoned. So, why not summon me to your realm? Why summon me in this... Crapland instead? Return home, Tarsal. I am expecting these souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and then not show it to me. Return now. Ah! Where am I now? Ah, uh, this is so tiresome. And I've had it up... And I've had it up to where... And I've had it up to here with these stupid flowers. No escaping here. Oh. Last one. Ah! Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of the shithole. Come on, wake up, it's not funny. I'm trying, jackass! Do something, help me! Ugh. Oh, thank god. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That would screw that would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Uh, what time is it? Like ten in the morning or something. Mom and Dad should be both at work right now. So whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or, actually no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. <sighs> so anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I mean, boo, no thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it, let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. Uh, first I want to... Save. And then load this. Oh, 
<gasps> oh! The... Hold on, there's a present there. Wait, 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 first I want the present. I'm not gonna step on the fuck. Where are the Where are the flowers? I need some more flowers. No, I don't want I don't want to go. Oh shit, I'm stuck. No I'm not, no I'm not, never mind. Um I think I was supposed to... Um... I think I messed it up. I think I'm supposed to do it in like a certain order. Up red flowers, put them here. <laughs> or not. Can I pick them back up? No. Um... There's no more flowers. I mean, there's those ones there, but I can't get to those. I want that present. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I know, I know, I know, no, 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 I know, I know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I put, I, I, I did this completely wrong. I know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I figured it out. There we go. And then, yeah, there we go. Um... But there's gotta be another way to do it because I kind of fucked it up here. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Alright, um... Wait.
Fun. So let me see, let me see. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Can I? Fun. Can I carry over the roses from another from another place? There we go. So if I pick these up, then go over here. Yes! Ah, I see, I see. Uh, I just saw OBS go in the red for a second, and I don't know why. I think I got it. There we go. Alright, what's this? Found the present. Inside is... A lemon muffin disguised as a birthday cake. <laughs> oh man, kind of takes me back. You get lost in your thoughts for a bit. <sighs> I'm home. Oh, what's that you got there? My teacher gave it to me. That's nice of her. She gives one to everyone on their birthday, it's not special. She's not getting paid to do it, so... She's going out of her way to try and make you smile. Hey, Andy. Yeah? Isn't it interesting when it's... Your birthday... You have your classmates come over and stuff? But when it's my birthday, we can never afford anything? I've got some pocket money. Wanna go buy a cake? Nah. It's not like my friends would show up anyway. They're always busy when I asked them for anything. Even when I said the even when I said the date yet. More cake for us. I don't know. Come on, let's go get you something. <laughs> okay. Frozen cakes? Quiet you, I'm on a budget. Yikes, 20 bucks for whatever for whatever the hell that is? No thanks. Who watches Andy scouts the cakes? Or more accurately, their price tags. Say, I've got an idea. How about instead of cake, we got the muffin value pack? What? Those muffins taste like lemon extract and sadness. If you put whipped cream on them, they'll have a dozen cakes instead of just one. Ah, uh, you just can't afford a cake. Okay, fine. But then you'll also have to watch Hypergore Splatter Brains 2 with me. That's age restricted. You'll have to ask Dad to. No, we still have it. We do? I thought we rented it months ago. Yep. Mom said to just keep it at this- I said to just keep it at this point and never go back to that shop again. Uh, what short term- what short- short term thinking? Well, whatever, deal. Yes. Ah, die you son of a bitch! No, spare me! I'll never fuck your ugly whore of a wife again! Ah, my intestines! 
Why do you like this movie again? Because I was told I can't watch it. Ah, of course. Well, happy birthday, Lele. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll remind mom to put some money aside for you next year. Nah, it's okay. Huh? I think this birthday stuff is fucking stupid anyway. Watch your mouth, you little shit. But it is. So what if it's been another year? It's all nonsense anyway. Who cares? Well, I for one. Then, that makes a grand total of one person who cares. Fine, I'll just buy you something on my own then. And I happen to like these sad lemon muffins. So, guess what you'll get next year too. <laughs> what if they stop making them? They won't, but if they do, I'll make my own just to spite you. Your existence will forever be branded with lemon flavored dough and preservatives. God, no, no, at least get the chocolate ones. What? You like those better? Why didn't you say so at the store? I thought you wanted the lemon ones. Only because I thought you liked them. No. And didn't you just say you liked them? I was lying so you could... So you could keep playing coy. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'll get the chocolate ones next time. Nah, these are growing on me. Thanks, Andy. You're my favorite lemon muffin. So you pretend to like me. Nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> wish for something. I wish my brother loses all his friends and never finds love. Wow. Thanks? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Good old bad times. <laughs> There's still more? I thought this way would take me home. And god, I'm so sick of these fucking flowers. Ah! Ashley? Andy, is that you? Do something, help me. Ah. Uh. Oh, thank god. That was a heroic thing the hospital. Um... But I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Okay. Free parking, that's why. Okay, um... No! Save. Save, and then load this one. Just in case. The ice cream stand only operates during the height of summer season. Welcome to the Bumfuck Nowhere National Park. Wow. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place, too. What's their last name, anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplates... The nameplates on the doors, did they go with Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they charge that? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know, to throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Oh. 
whatever. Let's find the house of Miss and Mrs. Graves. They're called Graves? Alright. Grayson. Smiths. Ugly Van Machidius. Wow. Shitterson. <laughs> oh, that's great. Love that. Mix waste and bio waste bins. Inside is mix waste and bio waste. Shocker. Aha, here we go. Don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. Alright, not good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. Wait, first I want to see what this says. Jones. <laughs> yes. Shitterson and Jones. That's amazing. Parents trash bins. Oh, come on. Look at this place. We've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. Some surprisingly heavy rocks. You check under the flower pot. Got a key. Not. There's a fuck. There is fuck all under the flower pot. <laughs> wow. One of the planks is loose. And here grow some plantable potatoes. 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 Carrots. A stick. Here grow some scrumptious carrots. A stick. There grow some tasty onions. Back door is locked. Okay, smash it. There's a- oh, there's an open window here. Ooh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. Just get one, like, to climb on the other shoulders and, like, Got wooden plank? Well, fucking finally. Place down the wooden plank. Alright. Oh wait, ah, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well? Ah, uh, no good. It's open, but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it. My fingers can't reach to unhook it. There's a stick, I think, right? Yeah, stick. Got a stick. Let's see, let's see. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me your hand, I'll put, I'll put you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open the door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Renovations are afoot. You turn the handle, but no water comes out. There's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you don't try to use this one. I mean... Why not? Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong, try again. Exceptionally well done. That was... An earth-shattering performance. Yes! To think you'd open the door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words I'd use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great. Then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation is kind of... It is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good. Then tell me later. You find a letter. It reads... Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since... Andrew won't be finishing college. Is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? There are s th those are so ridiculously expensive. 
Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. It was, ju it was just on the pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. Oh. There's not much in the fridge now. Kitchen knives. A cutting board. A dish rack in the blender. A sink. The pot is empty. A coffee machine. A cooking book. It's mostly broth and stew recipes. A fireplace? They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew! Yes? This is some rich people stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. It's the phone your never, your bleh, your mother never calls you with. Well, I guess you can't now. Notice how there aren't any photos of us here. So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general in that last place either. True, but. Now that there are some, why not of us too? I guess we're just poor ugly. Well, I guess we're just too ugly to be put on display. Right, maybe that's it. They're supposed to say I'm pretty! And you're supposed to be robbing the house! Get to it! Your parents have lived here only a few months, yet they've somehow managed to hoard all this stuff in a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue, and the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Did I just see that broom appear? Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. An excellent quality mop. The floor drain seems a little clogged. Uh, seems a little clogged up. But it's not your problem. Unlike the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. On the table lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Just a key, I'll take it. A metal box full of scr uh, screwdrivers. Christmas decoration. Christmas decorations including a string of lights. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Rubber gloves. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, you found the key, nice. What's in there? There's no set of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, You have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Uh, please come and discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificate of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh? Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. Must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit. Isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. It's a shame that... You wasted all of our bullets. Like we'd shoot anyway. Oh, I would. Is someone there? Uh, hi, mom. It's just us. Oh, no. You don't even want to know what your parents have been have been up to on this bed. Jesus Christ. 
inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. You close the closet. <laughs> we do not speak of what we just saw. Welcome home! Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Why do you always keep the grounds? In the top cupboard, but... What about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. There you go. It's nowhere near enough for you. What is over here? Did I check? Oh, it's just a backyard. Right. Hi, sweetheart. Why did you stop answering my calls? Ashley, I can't spend my entire life listening to you complain. The least you could have done was mail us some dry food or something. What for? You were taken care of. You're still spinning that bullshit. At least... What? I sh Uh, hold on. Let me read that you were taken care of. Just being that bullshit. Huh, shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Cry about it. Stab her. Stab her right now. Mom is busy treating her work uniform. Damn it. Why do we waste all the bullets? He's putting away groceries. Meat. Wine. Looks like your parents had a night planned. We brew some coffee. So, I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go-ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh. Interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. No, you're not. Yeah, you sure look like it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where did you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? <laughs> I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it. You... It's so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all just bullshit. But no, they actually do st that stuff here. They stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised, I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it, I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy. 
I can't wait to hear how that has been. He must... He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. <sighs> I'll take you up on that, thank you. Mother leaves. You are Andrew. Somehow, your burglary attempts ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then, make something you s make something you smooth talker you. You have nothing to cut. A dish rack and a blender. A sink. You browse the cooking book for some si for some simple recipes. What? I got this. You can go what you can go do whatever. I'm all right. What is it? It's nothing. You're stuck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind. Where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over for you for now. Simple soup recipe. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. Okay, that's everything you find in the backyard, right? Got potatoes. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients while we languish in our apartment. Really makes me appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to do this, now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please, just let me think. I'll figure, I'll figure out something, alright? You get the feeling that she has something more to say. But you can't tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. The onions, alright. Uh, what was it? Uh, meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. You have nothing more to cut. Alright. The knives. Got meat. Alright, there we go. Cut the meat into chopped meat. Just curious. Did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. You throw the ingredients in the pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you, but first you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying, what is it? Uh, you're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't let me spell it out for you, we have to kill mom and dad. No, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance stream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hey kids, good to see you. Says Dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Phew. That was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. 
Oh. Here's where you can wash the dishes. The dishes. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing or the killing? Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable it is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you rec who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not the two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only alerted them, but we're al we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed their recent whereabouts. And we're better off mugging random strangers than have no that have who have no connections to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already told us. Uh, she already sold us off once before. I mean. Assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is, is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? But you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know, I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay. Listen. I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So, if anyone is playing Happy Family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I... Not that I didn't know that already. Oh. Uh, fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't. But that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed... It's just us, now. Funny, because I remembered agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. Uh, Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then, you've misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. It... Now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out... What we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway with the trinket charged... Wait, if we're leaving anyway with the trinket charged, we'd at least have some means to stay safe. I... I get that, but if we leave quietly, there would be... No need for, for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem! What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with. Oh. There isn't enough space in this house. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. N no, it's... 
Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for um, you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. That's a tall order after our earthly possessions just burn to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof right now and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Huh? Sleep now or get out at once. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. And now we kill them. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from what, from yourself. Despite having every intention of going, of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Oh. Greetings, neighbor. Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness, not but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. This time for you to compartmentalize. What else thee? This freezer isn't isn't full of human meat. Okay, let's fix that. There's a severe lack of human meat in the freezer. What? Um... There we go. Got a limb. Got a limb. The pan is empty. Alright, Ashley already cooked one. I don't... And the holder is empty. The door has no handle, nor will it budge. Okay, so what does that go to? Oh, that. What about this door? Nothing. What are you doing here? I... Actually, no, don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Stop following me, you little shit. Ha 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 ha. Oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them over. Ha, <laughs> no way. Killer. You should grab Lele by her stupid little neck to give you the- To give it a good ring. I- What the hell? But the little shit evades you. What was that, you psycho jerk? Whatever, it's just a dream anyway. Most people would still be horrified to kill a child. But I guess you're used to it, huh? Yeah, well, in most people's lucid dreams, they can fly and whatnot. 
Yet I'm stuck with crap like this. Serves you right, jackass. There's nothing to light. Oh, let me get that. Hey, please, uh, a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. You use your lighter to light the candle. Oh, alright. Um, what? Nothing to light. There we go. What is this design? Okay, um... White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. So, what do you want to play today? Nothing, go to bed. Boring! I don't care, go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep, I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave the spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get your pencils. Thanks Andy, you're the best. You've reduced yourself to an errand boy for a lele that doesn't even exist. Way to go, loser. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna BRB real quick. I don't... remember... Uh, I don't remember what I was supposed to do. Also, is there supposed to be no audio? Okay, yes, okay. Um, okay. Uh, the game is, oh god. Oh, I guess it's over here. Yes. Oh wow, that was very straightforward actually. Hello there. Someone stares inside the room. With an unblinking gaze. Damn. Hello there. The trash is full of letters, mostly death threats. Got some colored pencils. Sure, um... Okay, the game is a little bit framey. Let me... I should try and, uh... Can I... A collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. Uh. Ah. Okay. Let me just... Yeah, okay. Let me close the game and reopen it real quick. Getting a little bit framey. Uh, the game isn't closing. Like, I'm, uh, hold on. There we go. Right, just in case. Alright. Hopefully this is good.
Uh, also, I just realized uh, chat needs refreshing. Uh, game is an opening. Um, okay. Chat. Game. Game. Fuck's sake. Um, the game is just not... Let me try something else then. Alright. Oh, done. It'll start eventually. One day. Right. There we go. It's about time. Uh, does the stream see it? Yes, it does. All right. Go. Cool. You have 127 new voicemails. Oh hell no! You are not listening to all that. I also forgot to wear my glasses. Uh, but I also, I also forgot where I put them. Uh, normally they would be on my bed. Problem is, uh, that, uh, there's nothing really on my bed right now because I don't have any sheets. were on my bed and I'm not exactly sure why. Why did I put them there? <sighs> okay, anyway. Uh, what do you hope to find in there, pervert? No way they actually put 127 dialogues here. Look, I don't know what your fucking problem is. The audio has been distorted, but you recognize that voice anywhere. I told you to fuck off, I warned you. Do you think you're all that? Do you think you're somehow special? You're just another hole, and you're not even the only one. He's got a slew of bluesies just like you. Enjoy what you have because you're well on your way out by now. The only reason he's with you is because he feels sorry for you. You're just some ugly cunt with a dead best friend. Hurry up and kill yourself. And when you get to hell, ask your friend what happened to her. <laughs> I bet you'd be... <laughs> you'd be so surprised. Fucking die, you worthless piece of shit. Slut. Worthless, you worthless piece of s shit, slut. Go slit your wrist some, some more. And this time, do it proper. Do you think you're better than me? Just because you can fuck him and I can't? Do you think that's love? Are you fucking delusional? Come dumpster like... Come dumpsters like you are just that. He will never love you. Not like he loves me. I am the only one. I am everything. I am the secrets you'll never hear. When he lies in bed at night, and when he needs someone to hold on to, it's not you he seeks out. It's me. 
That's enough of that. Damn it. I was actually, I was kind of hoping it would be 127 voicemails. It's your ex-lover's dormitory room. But now you tell me that? Alright. Julia. You've been quiet all day, what's up? Oh, she's cute. N no, it's... It's nothing. Or, actually... I've been thinking about... Something a lot today. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much build-up, you kinda have to now. <laughs> well, okay, but please don't get mad. When have I ever... When have I ever once even raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. Uh... I, uh... Talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it's... Maybe it better... Oh my god. Like, maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even if just for her own sake, you know? Uh... Game? Okay. What? Wait. Hold on. Uh... Maybe for our sake too. I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. Wait, you know what I just realized? You can see her hands on here, but she's wearing like long sleeves. Like, lo like, longer sleeves, like, long long enough to, like, be covering half of her hand. <laughs> I think she's hiding, like, cuts on her wrist. Because that's what the voicemail said. Sorry. I'm not reprim- I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, though. N no, but you could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. If you're cease. Cease? Well, I'm fucking. <laughs> if your sister needs something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if he actually needs something, I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Even though I'm pretty sure he was the one responsible for it. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? She's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, no, nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about... So uh. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. <laughs> It'll be fine if you're with me. Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh heck no. You'll pull on it again. Ah, <laughs> uh, But don't you know it's... Yeah. Uh, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? I don't think it is. Or... Maybe it is, actually. 
It might be. Now that I think about it. Oh, that's just awful, hee <laughs> hee. I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. You'll never see her again. And the fact that it doesn't really bother you bothers you. <laughs> um... I gotta give the... Right, I forgot. I need to give the... The coloring pencils to her. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Lele is focused on drawing. So it needs to fuck game. Placed and lit the candle. <laughs> That's quite the thing to not have to see before, huh? Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comprehend why sh why there hasn't even a mention of her on the news. Uh, game. 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 Oh my fucking god. Uh, OBS is in the red. OBS is in the red. Oh no. Hold on. I am trying my absolute hardest to fix. Surely someone found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is, it, is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he and his buddies still fed you, this was uh, this one was always leering at her. Never mind, there is one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. <laughs> this one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's, your st it's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up and get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. So are you coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lele to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. See yourself. Got severed limb. Well met, young graves. So piece of limb place the limb in the freezer.
There is severe lack of human meat in the freezer. What? D possesses the absent limb, yet it doth not belong to me. Perchance this of little consequence to thee. Got them. Does oh my fucking god, do I have to read this? Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Pursuit I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn I knoweth not. Uh, verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own, mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some soul sought to protect themselves and kindle the flame which engulfed all. I never want to read that again. So I never will. This reminds me of something. Come on. Open it. You know you want to. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned a lesson. There is no answer. Huh. I guess she's still sleeping. Yeah, she's still sleeping. Let me see if there's anything around here. I doubt it, but just in case. You can never go wrong. I'm checking. Okay, I guess not. Alright. Lately kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, don't. You open the crate. Oh. Oops. Wait, wait, what? Why is she dead? How did... What? That can't be right. What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Sh shut up. Just shut up. Forget this. Just leave her here. Since she took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split if she was there willingly? Oh, well... It's not like anyone knows she's here. Just leave her. No, she'll... It'll start rotting. And... Someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come and check here. So, what do we do then? Uh... I... Fuck. Let's just hide it then. Uh-huh. If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body, and they and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too. It's fine if it's the both of us. No, no, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're going to take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, since you're so smart. Okay, okay, let's just... Uh, like... Move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. 
Yeah, there is probably fine. But first, we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her. Carry her there. Morbid curiosity compels you to take a better look. Do it. Instant regret. <laughs> I think this is... yeah. This one's too big and heavy. Never mind. This works. This will have to do. Got tarp. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks would work would work too. I mean, they're kind of shovely, so just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy to dig spot. Got a wooden plank. Which one's it? Here? Maybe here? There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. Okay. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it, she fits just fine. I... Okay, fine. Where's her body? Oh, there. I thought that was a rock. You and Lele pushed the body into its grave. Crap. This doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No. There can't be this. It... This... There can't be this... This obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? Got foliage. Some more foliage is needed. Um, foliage, more foliage. Even though I didn't see any. Some more foliage is needed. All right, where? I don't see it. Oh, wow! You had to put it behind the goddamn screen. Okay. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also. This is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's got to be something here to hold them in place. Just put like a boulder or something. Uh, speaking of. Nice. Makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying. <sighs> What is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a real long time, it, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Lele, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget about it. You say one thing and then do another. Promise me that this time you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't even remember anymore. <sighs> There, there. He'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's going to play with you in jail? If I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your shitty handwriting. Yes, yeah, so just 
Have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I'm your best friend from now on. You already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'll be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine. Because you'll be around now. God, you're stupid. Oh wait. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because from now on, no one will like you either. So... Let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or else. <sighs> I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom. Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you... <laughs> You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything about... things? Yeah. My teacher asked everyone in class some... Asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And did you say anything? Nope. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought, maybe she told Julia she was gonna come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know. Because I didn't want to... Wait, I don't know. Because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I give you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Ah, uh, wait. I see how it is. You're still... You're still pinning for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Oh wait, I actually got to move around. Rude. Oh. Oops. Back in the coffin, aren't we? Also. Someone is being interviewed on TV. Your success story is such an inspiration to us all. Before starting your soda company, you used to be a surgeon, isn't that right? That's right, Mark. I'm actually a doctor. So trust me. One can of taxi soda a day keeps me far, far away. <laughs> when even a doctor tells me to indulge, how can I not? <laughs> Surely it's only up from here. What plans do you have for the future? Well, first of all, with such a great demand comes a great need for water. Which is why I've partnered up with several water distribution companies. I hope this is the start of a long-lasting friendship where 
the people on TV ramble on and on. You're relieved there's absolutely nothing about any dead girls being found. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hello, son. Hi, dad. Bye, dad. Oh, no, no. I'm not jumping. Huh? Right. It's just a job. I can always find another. Your mother- What? Fuck. I- uh, uh, hold on. Real quick. Let me, uh... Hold on. Let me, uh... Uh, shit. Uh, hold on. Let me read what that said. Your mother said I was too good for that one anyway. I, wait, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all important, Andres. And Ander, Anders. What? It's Andrew. <sighs> I'll go see. What they've got for me at the unemployment office. Great talk, son. Uh, can go in what I think was the toilet. This is mom and dad's room that is inaccessible for some reason. There is no need to leave the house. You pick a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Am I gonna stab her? Yep. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you have to promise me something too. Okay... Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Guess. <laughs> You're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what if you break the promise? I won't if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lele. You are a, a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy, sore spot just for you. Make that what... Make of that what you will. I mean... I'll take it, but sheesh. Not gently, you asshole. How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm. Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Ah, wait, no. I want to do over. Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Aw, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority, just not the only. That's not enough. Why can't you just... Kill our parents? Hold on. That's not what she said back then. 
Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake! Good morning! Or night. It's still night time. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now while they're asleep. We'll set the ritual up and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now, we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my. My effort- My efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out of, it, of our apartment, I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. God damn it, my stop playing Master Duel! It's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. Chomp. <laughs> what are you doing? A demonstration. God, you're so fucking dumb. I should... Andrew, are you still awake? Yeah. Why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I want to talk with you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's all right. I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. For the love of God. This had better not be what it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. How does this look to you? Where'd you get... What's it looking like now, Mom? A Ashley, come, come on. You know that there aren't any bullets left in that gun. But your mom sure doesn't. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. Andrew, you get a rope or something. I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill dad. You do not need to be told that. <sighs> Alright, where's the rope? A purse. Quite the heavy sleeper, this one. There's some rope in the closet along with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. <laughs> Their parents have been getting freaky. As you untangle the rope from everything else... Ah, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son? What on earth are you doing? 
Uh, sorry, I, uh, needed to, uh... There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. <laughs> and the truth, I want to tie mom up, doesn't sound any better. I want to fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I got <laughs> Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope. Maybe you should- <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should hang yourself with it. This game is so edgy, I love it. <laughs> Honey, is everything alright? You take out your cleaver. I forgot I even had a cleaver. What's going on? Andrew, when you supposed <laughs> Why ask that? Andrew, when you supposed to be masturbating? <laughs> Just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Better not dwell on it, as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. <laughs> Andrew? I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. Andrew! What? I'm still looking for something to tie her up with. Look elsewhere. Don't talk to her. Get away from her. Don't even look her way. Oh, come on. I can't trust you not to get all misty-eyed. Eat shit, Ashley. Whatever, Marshmallow Spine. Go get that fucking rope or whatever already. Beloved, don't test me. Okay, okay, sorry. You get the... You, you get the sense that whatever trust she had in you is quickly eroding. <laughs> uh, there's a shower. You can rip this. Like... Truly, this is a stellar mop. That has to be like a an inside joke between the deaths. There's no way that... Cure B screwdrivers. Got Christmas lights. That'll do. You tied your mom up using Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. Alright, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the ri- Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? <laughs> Is that what this is about? Money? You go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin and where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you scribble it down the note. Okay, now I'm gonna try the- I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. She gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on how they behave or not. <sighs> Alright. I'll be quick. Wish I could go with you, but... Someone has to keep an eye on these two. Did you find her purse yet? I... Okay. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing here? Get back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It is amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Yeah. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. 
It's just... Come on, now with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well then... Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. Lay. Fuck. <laughs> Look. Just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. <laughs> You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Oh. While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual. Or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think it involved... Blood candles and cannibalism, runes, candles and blood, music, runes and a book. Isn't it all of them? I feel like... Hold on, let me actually... Uh... Aren't all of these correct? Um... Music, runes, and a book? I want to save. One. Music runes on the book. Well, there was that song that called this kept blaring. I hope that wasn't too important, seeing as I don't have that here. There was also those runes on the floor in the book. No, wait. The book was just the instructions. It wasn't needed for ritual itself. You wish you had the book with you right now. Ah, whatever. I can start with the runes. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Two human shaped Sacks of blood sit on the floor. We have nothing to cut them with. Got kitchen knife. There we go. It's about damn time. Alrighty, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shot me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to start for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Aw, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. <laughs> what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play at. Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint! 
Ah, yes. The patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they could have done to you if they found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue, let's see whose blood I should use. Cut mother, make her, make her suffer more. Yeah. Honey. It's fine, don't worry about me. Yeah. She wouldn't worry about you in return. Cut blood. Alright, let's see. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Oh. I don't... This might be looking a little bit, uh, off, but... Lucky, Ma! I drew a circle! Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you. You never... No, no. Don't let her get a rise out of you now. Candles, candles, candles. You can leave. You have prisoners to keep watch of. Oh my god, I hate this theme so much because they like in my right ear there is this there is this knocking sound. It makes me feel like there is someone at the door. God I hate this. now and she trusted you to keep an eye on your parents where the hell are the candles here where the sex toys are what the fuck where are the candles there aren't any Are they in here? And I just missed them somehow? Oh my god. <sighs> sure. Alright, that's all the candles I had. Welcome back! Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card. I do? You do. I could only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. Being insufferable runs in the family. <laughs> yeah? Well, I guess... Uh, yeah, well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Off we go! But except I'm the one behind her! Like, um, she's the one behind me? Which, also, probably not a good idea to... To... Have... 
uh, you know, the person, like, your hostage have access to a phone. Even if you're there, they can still, you know, say something. Uh, but, like, you know, they could... Well... You're in luck, as the customer service line has just opened for the day. How convenient. Yet somehow, there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. <laughs> Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Roughly a quarter millennia later, <laughs> Mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That is what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy. I wonder if your card... What if your card gets stolen? Indeed. <laughs> I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> there we go. You're good. Or you're gold. Is there anything else I could help you with? Apparently not. <laughs> Alrighty then. Have a nice day, Miss Graves. <laughs> Imagine the sarcasm. <laughs> and then they just laugh. <laughs> Now it's back to the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. The card should be freed now. Unlike your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking up what you've set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes look like anymore. God, your memory is such shit. Though, I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right here. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but... I mean, still. Just hand me the card. I... Actually... Can I really leave Andrew alone with Mom and Dad? Who knows what they'll say to him. And he's wishy-washy enough as is. Ashley? Save game. If you can trust Andrew enough to leave him with that- No. Fuck that! Forget it. This jackass doesn't exactly have a stellar record for when it comes to watching over hostages. And I'm still not convinced he didn't try anything with the lady from room 302. Never mind. You're right. I should say... Go, you go and get the cash. Alright, good. Here, for the candles. Got lighter. And the runes? Okay, so the runes are pentagrams, but you have to begin drawing them from the... I didn't, I didn't pay attention to crap like that last time, and everything worked out just fine. True. Well, you're the expert here. Do what you will. Leave it to me. First, I need some more blood. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you've brainwashed Andrew to play along with this. Brainwashed in my ass. It's like I'm calling the police, police, police. Huh? Uh... I don't care. 
Call whoever you want. I already have the FBI. <laughs> I already have the FBI on my ass. Who said you're allowed to talk anyway? No one cares what you think. Don't talk to your mother like that, young lady. Please. Got blood again. I'm joking. I mean, there ain't shit you can do, really. Uh, was I supposed to do something? Oh, okay. Oh, they're literally outlined. I'm just blind as fuck. That's probably enough runes. Oh, there we go. Well, everything is all set up, except the music. But I really can't see how I'm going to arrange that. I'm back! Welcome home! Oh wait, welcome, welcome! You're just in time, I'm about to summon. Uh, auto? Uh, it's cool BRB, Pokemon and Escalator. Yeah, I, I brought back the... Because it was like a meme a while ago. And I managed to find the, um, the, what was it called, the, um, I managed to find, like, the escalator video that they used for it, uh, for the, that they used for that meme, like, a what, like, a couple years ago, or really, it was, like, three years ago up to, like, last year, like, two years ago, or, yeah, no, last year. I don't fucking know. Time is time. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. Miss Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something? Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> Ah! Tarsal. What the fuck is that? I offer those two. Their screaming is short lived as the demon seals their soul. Huh. I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all. Why did I have to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Is that a new one? Uh, a new what? Thank you. What? Hello. This is the brother? Yep. The one only. He not be yeah, he may not be very useful, nor is he particularly loyal, but But nothing actually. Honestly, I don't even know why I keep him around. I see. Farewell, Tarsal. Until you have another soul to offer. Right, thank you, and bye-bye! The entity leaves. I don't know why I keep you around either. I don't know. What do you keep you around for? I'm certainly not... I'm certainly no pretty lady. You can't even fuck me. <sighs> I'm just the woman you blame for everything. So you don't have to feel bad. Where is this coming from? Bet if I left alone with, uh, with our parents, you would have sided with them. This again, I told you. I'm with you on this. It isn't beyond you to lie. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I had to think about it. But shouldn't it... Uh, shouldn't it be telling that... Even after I thought... Even after I thought it through, I picked you. 
Andrew picks me one day, then talks to someone else once, and it's to hell with me. That didn't happen. I picked... I picked you. What more do you want? I want to feel secure in this relationship. Because you give me nothing, and then wonder why you can't trust you... And wonder why I can't trust you for shit. I... I don't know what to say. Well then, just think about it. What are we doing about the bodies? It just doesn't seem to matter what I say when you get like this. The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right, the bodies. Uh. Oh, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked up somewhere, who knows. Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right. So let's make them disappear. Right. We can start by chopping the- uh, by chopping them up. We can just dump them in the ocean or something. No, Ashley, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Oh, uh, before I forget... Yeah, you can have this back. Return the lighter. Still Lele, right? Yeah. Uh, how to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a dream right there. Huh. Right you are. Andrew is untying the parents... Yeah, Andrew is untying the parents with stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is that... breathing? You take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is! Mom too! You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet, their hearts still beat. Their lungs draw... Draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable. That can't be. The cultist died. And the warden too. Well, I mean... Did you actually check? I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, no, no. Please tell me that he wasn't still alive when we ate him. I mean, no, he couldn't have been. You chopped him up. Of course he wasn't alive then. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from bl blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. No, that... This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though, if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Uh... I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew, look. Look here for a second. What? You get your father, too. What are you doing? There, all dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But, you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway. You drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Time to get cutting. Alright, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 what? Stop! Stop! Stop, it's flooding! Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross! Uh, 
great. The drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. How do you unclog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Got a screwdriver. And I think I saw... Yep. Uh... Baking soda... Uh, I don't know. This mop, it is a work of art. Um, I guess the baking soda is up here somewhere. Maybe I don't even need to... Ah. Oh. Check the top cabinets. Got baking soda. Nice. Okay. What? Oh. I thought they disappeared, but no. They're in the shower head. Andrew unscrewed, unscrews the drain lid. Pour some vinegar. Wrong. The baking soda goes first. Who gives a shit? You pour down a dangerous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just get me the gloves. Surely they're here, right? Come on. No, they're not. God damn it. Alright. Under the stairs? You're bullshit. Oh, wait, they were on the handle the whole time. Anyway, here you go. Have fun. Handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain. A seemingly never-ending amount of God knows what. Oh God, that is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> Andy doesn't respond anything to that. Yeah, good, good. Looks like he's finally coming around. Though there being no reaction at all is a little worrisome. The dream works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents. And disembowel them. And decapitate them. What fun! <laughs> Having regrets? Would I be allowed to say so if I did? 
Of course, you can tell me anything. Anything I want... Uh, anything I want used against me anyway. <laughs> I love you, Andy. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry for lashing out earlier. I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine. No, you're not. Talk to me. I've got nothing to say to you. Andrew continues butchering your parents. And for the first time in forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. So, what's the plan for all this? Where to dispose of it all? Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Did you know that in Japan, the Sega games and arcade... Oh, there's Sega games and arcade and roller coaster? Haven't most of the Sega arcades shut down? At least I remember hearing that, like, at least a good amount of them uh, shut down. Um, actually, before I... Let me load this. Alright, let's trust him. Just give me the card. I'll go get the money. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? <laughs> See you later. It'll be fine. You won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio. But at least you can draw the missing runes. Now, where did Ashley get all this blood? From Mama. Sketch of a rune. There we go. Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on, of course not. Uh, technically, anyway. Then, what is all this witchcraft-looking nonsense? Just let her scare you a little. We'll leave you alone after that, how about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. She doesn't. Your father doesn't have anything to say. I had nothing to say and I got lost in the nothingness inside of me. Yeah, it's always been like that. Just going along with your mother's whims. It hits you then, that you are just like him. God damn it! <laughs> there was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you. For always making you look, look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a seven and a five-year-old to care for. Think you'd have fared better than me? I wouldn't know. This isn't an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I just want... I was just a fuck-up. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. <laughs> so fine, look where the, look where we are now. Anyway, you were such an easy child. I thought we'd be fine having each other. Uh, I thought we'd just be fine having another. I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so... I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. 
Doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right. If I put in a good work for you, you're as good as hired. Be forewarned, though. They get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. What do you say? Yeah, I thought there would I thought there would be a branching choice like this. Mm. I think the decline gets me the ending that I already got by just picking Ashley. So I'm gonna accept. Your parents are offering you an olive branch. Alright. I want to say yes. I wish I could say yes to that, honestly. But... I can't. I'm stuck. I'm so fucking stuck, you don't even know. Is it the death certificates? I noticed you had moved them. There must have been some ugly mix-up. We can clear that up. There's a lot more to it than that. Nothing has happened that can't be fixed, Andrew. And I'm not angry. I know you didn't want to do this. All you have to do is convince Ashley to give you the gun, and we can put this behind us. Fuck this. I need to light the candles. I can make this work. We're gonna be just fine. All Ashley needs to do is stop being such an unrelenting cunt. We'll be fine. We're going to be fine. Andrew? You'll get the gun from her, right? I'm back! Great, the ritual is ready. I can't even get a proper hello. Can you just summon the damn thing? What's wrong? Everything. Will you just get to it, damn it? Sheesh. You are Ashley. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something? Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the second-hand embarrassment. Ah, Tarso, what the fuck is that? I offer those two. What? Hello? Is this the brother? Yep, the one and only. He may be... He may not be very useful, but he per he's particularly... Nor is he particularly loyal, but... I decline. Well, about Ashley. I wish you wouldn't talk about her that way. Let's not fight. There's a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. What were those death certificates about anyway? It's a life insurance scam, nothing more. 
how's that work? There's this doctor, well, a surgeon actually, and they told us you'll be stuck in that apartment. And they told us you'll be stuck in that apartment, we got... Wait, after they told us you'll be stuck in that apartment, we got redirected to him. And as far as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had any life insurance. Well, I got it for you two after you got quarantined. It's kind of curious that they led you to do that. So then, when we died, were you in on it? Of course not. I already thought you died. They said your bodies had been uh, had to be burnt because of the parasites. So that's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah. She's full of shit. Where are you going? I have to finish setting things up for her. Oh, come on. Forget about this nonsense. You can sort the documents out. Hell, you can even live here if it if that doesn't if that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind you, just like that. That's okay, I'm not really interested. What? But that... that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not... Ah, I get it. You fuck her. What? Huh? Oh, that is disgusting. Andrew, she's your sister for God's sake. I haven't done anything. What the hell, mom? Then what does she give you that makes all uh, that makes it all worth it? That makes it worth all this. Well, that's none of your business, is it? I knew something was off. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. No, I mean yes, you are, but I have never. I'm back! Now I'm all done! I got the money, did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? <laughs> I want to die! <laughs> uh, whatever, summon the fucking demon already. Ooh, so eager. Let me see if it shows up, though. Since there's no music... Wait. What are you talking about? Quiet, you. I'm still armed. Hey, Dakitsu, how you doing? Andrew, light the candles. Alright, get to it. Oh, fuck. Shit, alright. Well, that happened. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry, but I don't have the I don't have the mood and music. I have a lot of stuff you asked for. There's no answer. If I sing something, please don't. That's right, my pride and joy, and no, you can't have his soul, it's mine. That's different. I will see you again, Tarsal. Sure, I'll make another offering. Uh, once the trinket needs to be charged again, I will summon you. Bring this one with you. Well, me? Why? Okie dokie, bye bye. Did I skip the... Did I skip dialogue that changed? Not fine to be honest, I keep feeling and I was looking at our rogue agent 5 and random obligatory turn battles. How about you though? Uh, I am in physical and mental pain from this stream. Uh, and I can't lay down because I my bed sheets are left to dry. The empty leaves. And that's that, the trinket is charged. What does it mean by it'll summon you? Who cares? What do you do about the bodies? Who cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right, the bodies. Uh, 
On one hand, we didn't kill them, but on the other hand... Uh... Hold on. Let me see if... No, not that. Let me see if that dialogue was different. Hold on. Wonder if I should feel something. Anyway, so the music was named Summon You by I've uh... Speaking of which Deal's a deal. Thank you. Well hello, this is the brother. Sorry, my pride and joy. No, this is all this okay, it was all the same, never mind. Alright, oops. I keep pressing the wrong button. Um Actually, let me save this just in case. I feel like these are all like endings. That was not correct. Uh, let me just reopen the game, just in case. What was I doing here again? I actually do not remember. Um... Oh, no, there's that. Ooh, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into soup. Throw in some vegetable, maybe spices. And then throw the rest away as scraps. No. No what? <laughs> What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What was that soup we made earlier? I'm over the ingredients again. The recipe is right here. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Don't have all the ingredients. I mean, yes, you did this. What? Did what? Carrots, potatoes, onions. What was it? Carrots, potatoes, onions, tomatoes? And the uh, game's in the black screen. All right. Oh, never mind. The game. Auto. What did the game say? I don't know. I don't remember. Everything just like everything I said went. In one ear, out the other. Um, I guess the meat. Got a pile of organs. Got all the limbs. That is a lot of limbs. Got two torsos. Got a head. Got a head. I'll play guess emoji. No, I'm good. organs in the blender and blend away. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge. 
all of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good as gone. Great, now deal with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? Cut the limbs into chopped meat. Got chopped meat. You skinned the heads. Got face. Got skull. Damn. What do I do with their faces? Make masks out of them? Yeah. I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? And what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. Cut the onions into chopped onions, blah blah blah. Look at that, much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still needed to deal with? I don't know, check. Carrots, potatoes, onions. Uh, no, it just says boil it. Carrots, potatoes, onions. Okay, I, I thought there were those tomatoes needed. I don't, I guess not. Oh. Oh. Can you burn the bodies here? It would be like cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boohoo. Watch. You place the torsos above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes, but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute, goddamn. This isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. <sighs> Let's leave this be for now. You throw the faces into the fire, too. Do you think the soup is ready yet? I guess so. That's not the kitchen. <laughs> Dinner's ready! I'm eating too? Of course. This is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while, after all. You're really not gonna have any? I honestly don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food available. Hmm... But... Don't you want to feel powerful? Explain. Well, um... Hmm... Let me think. Mm. Okay, so... Humans are at the top of the food chain, right? And then... When I come and eat the humans, I'm on top of that. That's... Not really how that works, but whatever. Then... Is this your diet now? You sacrifice people and eat them for kicks? Ah, uh, you're not getting it. Let me try explaining it again. I don't need to get it, I just need to know if this is some, uh, if this is going to be a thing. I'm the one who's gonna have to sort it out. It's like if I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life so far. Like everything they've known and felt, I'm consuming all of that. And if I could turn that into some sort of energy, I'd be all powerful. Does this power leave... Does this power leave as you shit the corpses out? <laughs> no, no, it just... It's just like absorbing nutrients. I get to keep the energy. You say so. You're not getting it at all. Even if I could magically absorb someone else's life, what would I do with that? I have no desire at all to be a mo Uh... I have no desire at all to be our mother or father in any capacity. Well, those two I'm gonna shit out and flush down the toilet. <laughs> ah, there, finally. Hehe, <laughs> nothing. Well, anyway.
I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Ah. Uh, right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you. I don't really want to talk right now. Should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? A human soup. I would like to try some. I mean, you could just throw it in the fire. No, wait, I'm not, what am I saying? That would just light the fire even more. Uh, that would pull out the fire, I meant. Throw away the leftover human soup. Oh, I am Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bags. Oh, what's this? Flesh has burned into charcoal, but the bones, bones remain. You put them in one of the plastic bags. Oh, hi. What up? So, what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did you do with all this up? What did we do all this other crap for? Quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess? You guess? How oh, nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can identify someone based on their bones alone. I think you can. I think there... I think you can... I think there is a way to identify someone based on bones, but not like... But I think you either need like a whole skeleton or you need to look at the skull specifically. I'm not exactly sure about that. Do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down just in case. I don't... I don't think bones float. I think, uh... I think the reason why, like, bodies float, it's because of... Like, the meat and stuff. You remove one of your pants' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Got all the teeth. Now you got to find a way to get rid of them. Got toothless skull. Got toothless skull. So, we lose the teeth. Bag. Uh, so, we lose the teeth. Bag the bones with some rocks, and call it a day. Got it? So I got some rocks, I'm guessing from outside. There's some rocks here. Yeah. There's some rocks. Put the rocks in the plastic bag, I think it said. I didn't read it. Uh, let me know where you've gotten the teeth and, uh, and bones and rocks sorted out. Uh, well, I have... Hold up. Uh... What? Wait. Game? Um... Thank you. Appreciate it. 
Do we have any more bones? Um, I guess the blender? No, the, oh, the blender's clean. Uh... Game. Why am I going in here? I'm retarded. Yeah, there's no bones here. Why am I even trying? So, do I throw them in the ocean now? Wherever the ocean is. Can I just ditch Ashley? Wait. This way is nothing but more parking spots. I got excited for a second. Um... Where the fuck am I going? I mean, know when you've gotten the teeth and bones and rocks sorted out. I have everything, right? Unless I'm forgetting something. Do I need more rocks? Uh, yeah. No, because these would be perfect for that, but... Thing. There's some sex toys in there, but What did Ashley say about... Flush the teeth down the toilet. Takes a few tries to flush, uh, for them all to flush. There, how gone. Wish you could do this to all your problems. <sighs> God damn it. Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the bla- <laughs> The basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? I have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. I wish we could, but... Eventually someone's going to go, Hey, Miss Graves... Yeah. Someone's going to go, Hey, Miss Graves hasn't... Showed, hasn't showed up to work for in a while. So they get fired, so what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone despite their names still being on the door. We can tell some lie. Say... We're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they. Why weren't they happy with just each other? 
I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant. It's all the same. Anyway. They can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be new and improved, Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easy. Whatever. I'll clean the basement then. It's interesting. Wait. But aren't... How do IDs work in this game? Because... <laughs> usually, like, an ID would have, like, your picture, right? Unless it's, like... Unless it's your bank card, I guess that counts as an ID, but... Also, not really. Whatever, I'll clean the basement then. Damn it, I already thought we were in the clear after all this. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. Oh, it's too big. Find another. Got an excellent mop. Wait, I need to... yeah. Uh, done. Now what? Okay. I've, I've done... Okay. Should I put the candles back in the box too? This box? This box. Returned all candles into the box. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so, though there's no way to tell if we missed something still. So. Other than that, maybe see if you have a dream where we uh, where we're caught, I guess. I offered two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. So, what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Oh, if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. I didn't even remember our parents' address. You didn't even remember your parents' address. Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look. It just said that I need to hold on to it. To have clairvoyant dreams, that's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then, could I hold it this time? Nope. Oh, come on. Even if you have a vision, you just freak out and overthink it. You, your dumbass can barely understand what's happening in the present, much less in the future. If anyone should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you, and now I'm definitely not letting you have it. <sighs> just... <sighs> Sorry. Uh, just... 
Fine, that wasn't called for. You're not getting my trinket. Fine, whatever. I have an awful night of terrible dreams. Andrew fucks off somewhere and you go to sleep. Well, this looks familiar... ish. Is the demon summoning me again? Did it... It did say it would. The door is hastily barricaded. Something tells me... Uh, something tells you to leave it be. I don't want to. What is this gibberish? Oh, I'll take it. Give me those. What up? Someone's at the door. Maybe I shouldn't stay here. What are you stupid? Get out of there! What if I... Maybe just a little bit? You can't read the little road sign. What if I wait? I want to see what death looks like. Maybe it's not... Maybe it's not a timed event? You can't make this jump. No shit, Sherlock. Chop wood. Does someone live nearby? Then again, demons can teleport. But then again, do demons need firewood? Present question is right here. But let us not forget you are being pursued. Got an axe. Chop, chop, chop. Alright. Let's use the axe on right here. Like, the axe is going to help you, Annie. God knows what's on its way. Can't make this jump. Uh, so why did I need an axe for? Oh, wait, I saw s No, I didn't. That's what I needed for. Road sign gets the axe. Got a road sign. Kick the road sign down the endless void. Smart. Where is the... there we go. There's nothing to step on. Oh, wait. There's a key there. There we go. Um, I see. There's three here. Hold on, let me save here. Load this. And I think that, yeah. Grab the axe. Chop, chop, chop. What if I leave the wooden, uh, the wooden sign there? Like, if I, if I leave the road sign on there without kicking it. Should, probably shouldn't leave the path open, open for your pursuer. Um... No, never mind. Alright. 
Alright, oops. Cool. At least now I know. I didn't think that went through, did I? Whatever. I can see the key right there. Let me just find some more flowers. Um, it appears you have gone and fucked yourself. It gave me a key. Uh, wait, it drops a key anyway? So you get two keys? Tree gets the axe. So the other trees are in the way. Okay. Do I not have the wooden board anymore? I guess I don't. Did I just see? Oh, wait. Yeah. Duh. white key and there's two doors I need to save um you know what I think the white key I think the white door is probably the intended path So I'm gonna go the unintended path. Huh? Parcel. What are you doing here? What are these things? Souls. Huh? They look a little cute. Tasty. I said cute. These two seem to fancy one another. Oh, that's adorable. Why is this one a different color? A tar soul to be. It didn't hatch. Oh, so my soul looks like this too? Yours is much darker. Damn. Her soul probably looks like him. So, is this a dream or am I really here? Both. I am interrupting your dream. Oh, so this is a dream, but you're really here? No, this is but a vision of me. Uh, I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? What do you want? Nothing. Not right now. You summoned me for a reason. You are using my talisman again. 
I am seeing what for. Us meeting coin is coincidental. What the hell? Now welcome to snoop in on my dreams. The demon says nothing, but it won't leave either. What a creep. You're just gonna do whatever you want, huh? There is no reply. Well, I should get back to having my nightmare vision then. Do you know what's chasing me anyway? We shall see. <sighs> I'm gonna die at the end of my vision, aren't I? We shall see. Helpful. Farewell, Tarsal. I will summon you soon. The demon isn't in the chatty move. Found an unexpected spectator. Oh. Well, I've got a vision to watch. Bye. I am so glad I reset. What the fuck was the point in chopping that one? Ah, it's just you? No, wait. Something isn't... Um... I don't suppose we could talk things out? There, truce. Come on, Andy. Play nice with your sister. Tag. I'm it. You should run. In three, two, one. Wait, no, it's not my fault. This episode is titled... No, wait, 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 wait! Andy and Lele, and... No, Andrew, wait! The final finale, finally. That is... No, I'm sorry, okay? I'll be better. Let's just leave and forget about all this. I think we'll be just fine. I'll behave, I promise. You've already shown me that's not true. I'm not falling for this again. No, 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 wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrew, I'm sorry. I'm so tired of your sorries. They don't mean shit. Shit, shit, no, 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 no. What did I do to piss him off like that? Why would Andy ever... Uh, no, he would never, not my Andy. No, I suppose he might. Or Andrew might anyway. It's him, less and less and less. Everything okay with you? Oh, uh, I... I guess I had a nightmare. A vision? No! <laughs> no, no, it was just a big nonsense. Okay. H hey, Andy. Please be Andy, please be Andy, please be Andy, please. <sighs> what is it? Oh, thank fuck. Nothing, nothing, never mind. I just love you so much. Thanks. Jesus, what a shit reply as usual. I would kill you to say it back to me every, one, every once in a while. You keep calling me by some other guy's name, what do you expect? Come on then. Our parents won't jump into the ocean by themselves. Come on, what was... Okay. 
Three, two, one. I can't run. Wait, I couldn't. Wait, 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 wait. I could. There was no way for me to run. Unless I've. There was a control I don't know about. Hold on. Uh, thank you, game. Game is taking a while to reopen. Alright, sure. Oh, there we go. See? All you gotta do is bitch about things. Uh... Oh, okay, yeah. Let me... Before I forget, save right here. What the fuck is the button to run? Oh, the okay. No, it's not my fault. Did I, uh... Okay. Let me just make sure. Um... God damn it. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I don't I don't think there was a way. Okay, never mind. Alright. Alright. Now I know. Oh right, we're throwing in, throwing uh, our parents in the ocean. Oh. Ha. <laughs> Oops. Are you picking them up or what? Hey now, I wasn't the one who packed them in this flimsy bag. I said pick them up, you dumb bitch. Why did you just call me? Now, Ashley! Alright, alright. Thank god no one's here at this hour. Wait. 
Wait, what is it? Okay, so don't stray too far into the into the light. Just in case someone does pass by. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks in the ocean. What about the skulls? Since they're no longer in a bag. Whatever, chuck them. If you say so. Well then, my congratulations for your loss. Very clever. What is it? Nothing. So what do we do now? Whatever you want. Oh? Well, this is new. How come? We'll end up doing whatever you want anyway. Why even ask me? Are you, uh, mad at me? Nah. What do you want to do, Ashley? I... want to do what you want to do. Wanna turn ourselves in, then? Well, not that! What the hell? So much for my option. Or so much for my opinion. Not that I was serious. Are you... Oh, wait. You're totally mad at me, Andy. Why? Remember when you promised you wouldn't call me that anymore? Nope. But I remember half a minute ago when I said we'd do what I want. You're really going to treat this... You're really going to treat me this way after all. After all I've just done for you. So, you are mad at me. I fucking knew it. I asked you for one thing, Ashley. One. Not a big thing, mind you. Not even a difficult one. Yeah, I'm mad. So what? It's not as if you're going to do anything about it. Just pick the next stupid thing. Just pick the next stupid thing you want to do, and let's go. You were fine with me calling you Andy back at the house yesterday. I had to be, didn't I? You knew I couldn't afford to start a, to start a fight with you then. That's why you started pushing, pushing for it. You think I didn't pick up on that? Well, there's, ne there's neither appearances to keep, nor corpses to hide now. Do you want to have another go at it? Well? What would you want, Andrew? <sighs> I want to lock you in the trunk of the car and drive off this bridge. Ha ha ha. You think I'm kidding? Ew, I don't want to be in the same grave as mom and dad. Then spare me half the fucking respect I give you. I will, right after you love me with half the heart I love you with, asshole. Say, how... Say, how exactly is irritating me supposed to inspire tenderness? <laughs> it's complicated. I'm a very complex person like that. The hell you are, you absolute simpleton. If I'm so simple, how come you can't keep up? I have to be stupid to understand the thoughts of, of the stupids. Arrogant prick, get over yourself. Maybe later. Meanwhile, you should get in the car. We're out of here. Oh, where are we going? To the bottom of the ocean, dumbass. You already told you. <laughs> I don't know yet, but I want to leave before the corpses float up or something. I wonder if we're fine now. Yeah, it's probably fine. End of episode 2. Wanna save the game?
We can continue here once episode 3 Decay has been updated. So it isn't out yet. Oh, there we go. Cool. Alright. So hopefully audio is good. I can't tell because I'm I can't I can't hear it. Anyway, um Where is my thingy? There it is. Uh... There we go. Okay, so... Alright. Hopefully... Uh, hopefully the audio is good. Um, I should, like, do this. Uh, let me try and hear it. Yeah, it's good enough. Alright. Um, cool. Now, there was a few things I didn't do with this game, uh, and that's why I'm playing it again. Uh, first one being... Which one was it? this yeah so huh the keypad lock is turned off guess the building is closed now oh it's almost morning you attempt to use the employee key but the elevator door remains locked And Drew Andrew, yes. Why are we here? The hitman is in our motel room. I just don't like the idea of walking into a room with where someone is waiting to kill us. I don't know why I'm not using my controller. Hold up. What do you want to do then? It might bring me here. I'm not sure. Let me think. Okay. Working. Uh, yes. The buttons on... Yeah. The buttons on this won't respond without a swipe tag. Do we care? Well, yeah. I want to see if there's anything useful I missed down at the cultist club. Why, I'm almost starting to think you want to summon whatever demon they failed to call. I won't deny the possibility may have crossed my mind. But only the employees have a, a swipe tag, so I guess so much so I I guess so much for that. Then let's make a bunch of noise. What? A worker would have to come to check it out uh, to check on it. And then we can mug them and get their swipe tag. We make a ruckus and it's the police that's gonna come check on us. Are there even any workers here at this hour? I think here comes our victim. Don't you dare, let me handle this. Huh? I thought I was the last one here. Hey there, are you down below? Um, yes. Who are you? We're from a catering. Uh, yeah, we're from the catering. There was some issue with the amount of cakes. Oh, uh, that. Yeah, one of them went missing somehow. Did, is the stream already dead? Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on. I'm already seeing the stream lag. Are you fucking kidding me? That's excellent connection. Oh no, okay. Yeah, one of them went missing somehow. Well, that's no good. Mind if we take a look? Um, at what? The carts were already taken by the catering company. Actually, I didn't see you earlier at the club. Wait, didn't I see you earlier at the club? Like I said, I'm from the catering. I was here the whole time. Oh, right, of course. Maybe there was a mix-up with the amount of cakes? It's no problem. 
Uh, it's, it's no problem. Fuck. It's no problem for us to take a look anyway. Come on then. Uh, okay, right this way. What the hell are you doing? Shh. See? The carts are gone already. I understand. I even wanted to see if the cake had fallen off somewhere. But I'm starting to think maybe someone stole it. Oh. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. It might have simply been a mis been misplaced here somewhere. Uh, please look around. But um, it was probably a customer that ate it. It's no big deal, right? Well, since we're here, when I give this a go, would you be up for it? Nah, I'd hate to summon a demon, sorry. Yeah, I'm up for it, dumbass. Why do you think I offered? Jesus, just checking. You're the one who's, uh, who's gonna have to talk to it. Ask it to get rid of the visitor in our room. Why can't you talk to it? For whatever reason, things went well for you last time. Alright, fine. Hey friend, come here for a bit. Yes, did you find the cake? Say, is this blood or paint on the floor? Paint! But when we call for our Lord Unknown, it is traced over with real blood. Oh my, whose? We buy it from the butcher shop. Well, no wonder nothing shows up then. Huh? What do you mean? You're summoning... You're summoning with stale blood that's been sitting on a shelf for who knows how long? I wouldn't show up for that either. I trust six size method. Wait, I... I trust six size methods. Maybe you two should focus on fixing your catering. I heard if you offer your blood, all your sins will be forgiven. Where does it say that? N not that I know of any thieves. Lord Unknown said it. I'm telling you didn't know that much. Some devotee. How much blood do you think it is? Enough to draw this circle should be plenty. Um, just for fun, maybe I'll do it. Great idea. Give me your hand for a bit. You cut his finger with your cleaver. There you go. Neat. I'll draw the circle with this. Then, unlight the candles. Don't forget the music. Turn the music on. Isn't the music on that jukebox over there? I suppose not. Alright. Oh wait, there's more candles. Done! I'm sinless! I mean, the circle is ready. But I'm sinless too, as I have always been. Alright then. Ahem, ahem. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Whatever you are. Huh. Say, is this even the real demon you're summoning here? Uh, game? Game? Uh... Game? The game is not... moving. Game? 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 Alright, um... I don't know... Oh, there we go. Of course it is. We're just not worthy of it showing up. Or maybe you just got lucky last time. Or maybe you should fucking try to summon that. Or maybe you should fucking try summoning it too. All you're doing is standing there watching. That's right. We should all do our best, even if you're not dressed up. Even if you're not dressed properly. Which might be the reason why Lord Unknown won't hear us. 
What am I supposed to do then? I don't want to end up like our neighbor. You could buy some ropes from the summon. It's that simple. Just invite it over. Just don't ask it something for nothing and it'll be fine. She has no idea what she's talking about. Um... I... I'm not liking the fact that I'm seeing an error message on YouTube Studio. Uh... Shit. Well done. Hopefully it's fine. Yeah, no. Hold on. Oh. Um, hold on. Uh, I don't know if that did anything. Uh, we'll wait and see. But she's the one who got it done last time, so what do I, so what do I know? You know what, fine. But if it kills me, then that's on you. Hehe. <laughs> demon, demon, come on out. Um, come on out. Say it like you'd actually want something to show up. Come on out, come on out. Come on out, come on out. Come out and don't kill me or her. And the third guy is... Ah, the third guy is fine though. Lord Unknown. Oh, it's a bit bigger than the last one, huh? <laughs> Lord Unknown, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the cake. The entity is saying something, but you can't make out the words. Sorry, what? Man, I can't hear it properly. Can you? M maybe Lord Un Unknown doesn't speak human? Failing to establish the means to communicate, the entity grows bored. Uh, the game? The game is, uh, is... I think. Game. 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 Oh my fucking god. Game. There we go. Lord Unknown's presence begins to fade. Wait, wait, don't go. I've got a favor to ask. Look, you can take that guy's soul. What? Huh. Well, that was interesting. Interesting? You, you said... Yeah, I know what I said, but look. It didn't take your soul anyway. So, so what? So what? You... You bitch! What was that? Yeah, you watch your mouth, bitch. There's two of us and one of you. You're both horrible. No no wonder Lord, Un Lord Unknown just up and left. Because demons as well... Uh, because demons, as we all know, hate horribleness. What is this guy, an idiot? Did you just now figure that out, you idiot? Hey, it takes one to know one, idiot. Who's an idiot? Ask the idiot. <laughs> oh my god, this game is just a drug trip and a half. Forget this. Let's get out of here. Good, go. And don't think for a second I won't tell Six Eyes what happened. Who gives a shit? And with that many eyes, you'd think he'd have seen it coming. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, idiot. Why, you... 
Lay, come on, we're going. Good riddance. You can be damn sure we're never ordering from your catering service ever again. Uh, game. Game, please. Game. Game. It's not even a game, it's just my fucking computer. Oh my god. Oh hey, uh, could you get the elevator for us? Ah! Out with you. Man, what was that guy's problem? Us. <laughs> Whatever. Um, oh for fuck's sake. Well, we didn't make any friends. Demons or otherwise. Good. Now you can focus on what's in front of you. Ta-da, it's me. Uh-huh. It'll always be me, like it or not. Listen here, you. We're in a bit of a situation. Remember the... Hehe. <laughs> what? Lele, huh? He said, back there. I didn't, I said Lay. And only because I didn't want to use your actual name in front of that idiot. I'm fine with Lay. It's the nickname of a nickname. What the fuck is going on outside? What are these twats, retarded? Shit, man. Well, I'm fine with Ashley, so that's what we'll stick with. Boo, whatever. He'll come around. I'll wait. This game. Well, anyway, that summoning was a bust. We did get further than the others did earlier. I really think there's something about you. Doesn't matter now. We've got a hitman to deal with. We've tried your... whatever that was, so now we're doing things my way. Fair enough. Let's get back to the motel room, pick up our stuff, and see what we'll see. <sighs> what a waste of time this was. Oh. Achievement, summon an unknown entity. Guess, uh, that was the only achievement I didn't get when I played this game for the first time, so... Nice. Also, uh... The stream is lagging behind. Um, oops, that was not intentional. Oh, and the game. Okay. And please, please. God damn it, man! Why? I'm just trying to stream, man. Why does this happen? Who let this happen? Me. That's who. I'm the fucking twat. Hold on. Hold on. Let me... Uh, seems like I'm back, I think. Okay. Now, um, the problem is I need to Google. I need to Google what, um, what the... I need to see how to get the endings. Um... Hmm. 
Um, I'm gonna have to test some things. I've already saved, so just in case. Uh, I think this save file was the one that... Okay. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway. You drag your parents' souls and lifeless bodies over, the over to the shower. Alright, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Stop, stop. Stop, it's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Ah, great. The drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed. Uh, and the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. Um, so can I move on? Game. Game, take your time. Take your time. There we go. You just keep clogging... You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. How do you unclog this thing anyway? Uh, how do you unclog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Okay, so screwdriver. Sorry, I'm getting messages from people and then the baking soda was here baking soda Andrew unscrewed the drain lid pour down the pour in some baking soda you pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar the soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. Uh, and apparently you also freeze the game for me. Thank you. I appreciate it, Light. Yeah. Anyway. Come on, just fucking work. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. I mean, just get me the gloves. Here you go, have fun. Handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain. He's seemingly a seemingly never-ending amount of god knows what. Oh god, that is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> oh, that's just air, I think. Bold of you to call me that when I am armed. Gasp, you wouldn't. Come here, you. Ah, no, no, don't you dare. No, I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. 
Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, I'm sorry. I apologize. Fine. You are spared for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents. And disembowel them. And decapitate them. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and apathy like you expected him to. Who is it? What? No, nothing, Andrew. Okay, the stream is lagging way too much. Hold on. Why is the stream lagging so badly? What the fuck happened? Um... If you're tired... Wait, hold on. Uh, is this... Okay, that should be fine. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's... It's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Huh? What? To think I'd ever bear witness to you being distraught over your parents' corpses. Oh. Right. Then again... I bet you're just moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And... Uh... You? Hmm? What? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. Game. Oh, nope. I can't. <sighs> Nothing is working. I... That's good. Come on! Just fucking move! There we go. You're being weird. Look who's talking. Huh? <laughs> Alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering, butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. So, what's the plan for all this? Where to dispose of it all? Yeah, yeah, but how? Of course. I'm just gonna take a sip of tea. Is there even- hold on. Let me just restart the stream already. Uh, I think I'm back. Honestly, I should probably restart my computer now that I think about it, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what you can do. Cool. Wait, actually, what if I talk to the parents' corpses? Got a head. Oh. Got a pile of organs. That's a lot of limbs. Got a torso. Got a head. We do need to get a head in life. And the game is frozen. Well, <laughs> worth a try.
Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope. Game said, fuck you. The game said, go fuck yourself. I'm like, okay, sure. Sure, I'll go fuck myself, game. Not even the game, it's probably just my computer. My, my computer is probably just, like, hates me. Computer Kun just went, go fuck yourself. Like, I hate you. I hate you a lot. Oh, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into soup. Throw in some vegetable, maybe spices. And then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do you want... Do you want... What? Did I skip a dialogue? What was that soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right here, read it. Shame on me for us for thinking you'd be helpful. It was, it was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Ah, there we go, thank you. I knew you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. I don't have all the ingredients. Simple meat. <sighs> okay, you know what? Let me save the game real quick. Oh, wait, it's, uh, it started, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. all right. Okay, 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 oops. Close that. Um, where is the game? Shut up. Yes, it is. Fun. Uh, I also just realized that it still says I'm playing Duel Links. Um, I'm currently playing... The Coffin of Andy. Why does it... Way the way. There we go. Perfectly fits. There we go. All right. Continue. And hopefully it's good now. So let's go and get the vegetables. Got potatoes. Got carrots. Got onions. Chop, chop. Cut the limbs to chop meat. Skin the heads, got face, got skull. What do I do with their faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know, throw them in the fireplace? What about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. Look at that, much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still need to deal with?
bring to a boil. Soup is brewing. I guess the other parts? Uh, right, the faces. Ooh, we can burn the bodies here. It'd be like cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo-hoo, watch. You place the torso above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes, but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute, goddammit. This isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. Let's leave this be for now. You throw the faces in the fire, too. Soup is brewing. Um... What else was there? Uh... There's also the organs. I think we dealt with those. Game's frozen. <laughs> sure. Sure, game. Feel free. Take your time. There we go. Um... I don't think there's anything out here. Oh, and it's back to loading. Fine. Yep. Be like that, game. Feel free. There we go. See? Was that so hard? Hold on. I bet there's... No, we can't talk to the, to the sex toys. God damn. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I guess we need to... This mop is a work of art. This mop is incredible! Uh... That's... I, I don't get what that's a reference to, if that is a reference to anything. Um... What was there to do again? I actually do not remember. Soup is brewing. Have fun. Great. Thank you, game. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's outside? Was it? Well, your parents might... Well, your parents might belong in the trash. It isn't a good idea to dunk them in here as they are. Maybe if the bodies looked less conspicuous. Hmm. And game is frozen. God damn it. I mean, at least it's only like during loading screens, so I guess it's not as bad now. Oh, what's this? You pour your parents' organs in the blender and blend away. Okay. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge. All of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good as gone. I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. What, you want a disease or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth, this idiot is just poured your parents down the drain. Eh, alright. That was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. Um... Okay... 
Do you think the soup is ready yet? Motherfu- I literally just checked the soup. Fucking asshole. Dinner's ready. I'm eating two? Of course. This is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while, after all. I suppose. That's right. Now say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, unexpected. Well, well, how is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom's just a dry person, alright? <laughs> How the hell is this dry? This is soup! No, Mom should be more salty, but it this is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. Gasp. You will retract that statement at once! I slave away in the kitchen for you and this is the thanks I get? I'm sorry you can't cook. You're not forgiven. Oh? Jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food certainly is shit. <laughs> I love this. But come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't appreciate. How about that? Hmm. Why, yes indeed, this cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. And out of this world culinary experience which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the sub... Sub... Subtle... Su su subtleties. It only took like 10 tries to say that. Truly, when I said waste of ingredients, I meant to say it's a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed to kings, no, gods! That's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking, that I will write you a shitty poem about it. Oh god. <laughs> Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. Oh, there is food too. To ease your weary soul, she brewed them a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips. Quarter past midnight. Should I buy lip balm? And the meat isn't dry, goddamn! It's just right! <laughs> ah, whatever. Humans are hard to cook. I'll get it right next time. What next time? Eh, whatever. Anyhow. I think we've dealt with the flesh. Uh, I think we've dealt with the flesh of the best of our, to the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to dish the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think of anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Uh... Right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you to. Your inability to grasp the weight of, a, of the situation is simultaneously your best and worst quality. I've come to appreciate it lately, though it pisses me off all the same. Thank you. Hm. Yep. Dumb as stone. I just choose to ignore it. your not at all subtle insults. <laughs> It should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Got human soup. Throw away the leftover human soup. You are Andrew. The game is frozen. Or no, it's not. Okay. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bags. Oh, okay.
The flesh has burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. Got bones. You put one of the uh you put them in one of the plastic bags. Oh, hi. So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What do we do all that other crap for? I'm quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The dental records, I guess? You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. I think they can. Do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down just in case. You remove one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Got all the teeth. I need to find a way to get rid of them. Um, throw them in the toilet. You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few tries to flush. Uh, it takes a few tries for them all to flush. There, all gone. You wish you could do this to all your problems. Got Toothless Skull. And got Toothless Skull. So, we lose the teeth, bag the bones with some rocks, and call it a day. Got it? Yeah, so we need rocks. All right. There's the rocks. Got some rocks. You place them in one of the plastic bags. Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? Just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever? I wish we could, but... Eventually someone's going to go, Hey, Miss Graves is hasn't shown up to work in a while. So they get fired. So they get fired? So what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they are apparently mingled that they apparently mingled with the people here. Sorry, I was finishing tea. The neighbors will notice them gone despite their name still being on the door. We can tell some lie, say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy just with just each other's? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. <laughs> Irrelevant. It's all the same. Anyway. They can't all go... Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And... Who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their missing parents uh, who didn't report their parents missing. Officers ask, how the fuck aren't you two dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new we can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into the same problem as with our, with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easy. Whatever. I'll clean the basement then. 
You are Ashley. God damn it, I really thought we were gonna we were in the clear after all this. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. Let's get the fantastic mop. The excellent mop. Should I put the candles back in the box too? Yeah. I mean, might as well. Uh, this box. All done. Are, you, are we ready to go? I think so. Though there's no way to tell if we miss something still. Other than that, maybe see if you have a dream where we get where we're caught, I guess. I offered two souls, so it stands to reason I'll have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. So, what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell, if I remember. You don't? Uh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. You didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look. It just said that I need to hold on to it to give... To have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then could I hold it this time? It gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you? What's it hurt to try? God, you can't read between the lines for shit. That was me telling you no. I did get it, I just don't care. Stop being so selfish all the time and just let me try. It's my trinket. Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just... We're not cutting it. That's not it, but I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us gets a vision. How? It's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. Come again? Holding hands when we sleep together? Now oh, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's fine. Though, I still think I'm gonna be the only one who has a vision. We'll see. Good night. Good night. <laughs> fuck this! How am I supposed to sleep after you just said something so off-color? <laughs> it doesn't help at all that mom said something outrageous, too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did, huh? So that's what that little show was about earlier. Did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regrets her entire life just- Wait, I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. <laughs> if for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. What? Nothing. Good night. It isn't long until sleep takes you over. Well, this is different. Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold up. Ayo. Hey, Got pink plushie. Ooh. A sucky drawing. Wow, who drew all this garbage? Oh, that took a while to happen. Um. This is very new. Hold Covered crayon. Nothing but static. 
Uh, hold on. So it was... Let's see? Got green crayon. The best crayon. So that means now it should be... Down. Blue crayon. Uh, what does the blue one do? I didn't see anything that. Oh wait, around the bunny, right? Give pink plushie all the crayons. Oh, hello. Oh my god, please don't do that. Um, get can you not? The TV and you watch each other. More importantly, this episode is titled Lele and Lele Alone. Now loading. Father plushie won't budge. Mother plushie won't budge. Got green plushie, the best plushie. Oh. Hold up. Pink plushie sits by itself. Take it. Got pink plushie. Place on pink plushie. Wait. Place on green plushie. The plushies seem... The plushies seem happy together. Got a stool. Oh, got a green plushie. Um, hold on. Um, Pink plushie fell off the seat. Got mom plushie. And dad plushie. So, what if I put... The... Green plushie here. Place down the stool. Uh... And the pink plushie, but it fell right off. Hmm. Interesting. Yellow plushie won't budge. Purple plushie won't budge. The trash is locked. For some reason. The chest is locked. Threw mom and dad plushies into the pot. Makes sense. Uh, but what's this? Place the pink plushie. Or not? Place the green plushie. There we go, okay. The trash can now be utilized. Can it really? Yes, it can. There is nothing in the chest yet. This plushie appears to be quite the ladies man got purple plushie got a yellow floozy uh who is the i think the chest is supposed to be like the little girl so i guess the what, what color was it purple i think locked away the purple plushie now it is exactly where it belongs Threw the yellow plush into the trash. A bit of wishful thinking, perhaps. Oh, hold on. Got the best thing in the world. What's done is done. A dinner plate sits on the floor. Why? I didn't even notice that. There's nothing in the cage. There, all better. A pedestal with nothing on it. Oops, I was meant to save. 
Also, this music. Enamored Evening. Got a knife. Got flowers. Place down the... Flower. Got a heart, finally, you monster. Once upon a lousy life. The end. Heart. Got sunshine. Broken heart. the heart. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna go with this one first. Somehow it seems like a highly questionable idea to take this route. I know what I'm about. Okay, never mind. I know what I'm about. I think this is like an, an ending thing. Classmates. These areas are really well done though. Parents, the one we just ate. Friends. Got key. Got green plushie. Now <laughs> we're, we're, I'm in the cage now. Um, so, hold on. Uh, I guess this? Siblings. Friends. Or what if I... Classmates. Um. Oh? Is the stream back? It disconnected for a second. Uh... Anyway, um... Back to... Well, hi there. Hopefully the stream is fine. Penny for your thoughts? No deal. Come on, give me one word. Mortifying. Huh? Didn't seem like it a minute ago. So I think you meant to say gratifying. Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yeah, something else fit in my mouth. <laughs> something else fit in it just fine earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, so mortified are you. You know, I'm easy to distract. Some guilty conscience you've got. Better than yours. Come here, you. <laughs> Wait, gently. Gently, goddammit. The, vision's... the vision ends without you dying. So... Uh, at least there's that, I, you suppose. Well, <laughs> I wonder if Andrew saw it. You wonder if Andrew saw it too. Yes. <laughs> Mayhaps. <laughs> uh, oh shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you too. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Good morning. Or evening, I guess. Whatever. Right, so... Hey, did you get a vision? Probably not. Really? Do you see dreams like that a lot, then? I don't. 
<laughs> so you did see it. Quite the vision, huh, big brother? That was not a vision! The demon is messing with us. Yeah, that's it. That's just it. It's because we're... Uh, it's because we tried to be cheap and get two visions for the price of one. So, it gave us a fake vision instead. That's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh, please. I mean, it is your trinket. Clearly you were right, and I wasn't supposed to use it. Sure, sure. Keep selling it. I'm totally buying. Screw you. Yeah, you just might. <laughs> Fuck off. Do you want to see fake that? I don't know. You tell me. Listen here, you. Fucking spare me. I don't want to hear it. You just helped me desecrate our parents' corpses. Yeah, getting laid is what you're freaking out about? <laughs> no one got laid. And you keep telling me I messed up. What a joke. We're not like that, are we? I don't know. You just come off that way sometimes. Huh? How so? A tad jealous. Oh dear. What's that? Wishful thinking? Tell that to my ex. Let's not pretend you don't have a bit of jealous... A bit of a jealous streak yourself. Now that's wishful thinking. Cut chance. Get over yourself. I don't think I need to ask you this, but let me anyway. It's never gonna come to that, right? You and me? Never. Never say never. Uh, I wanna save. Never say never. Never say never, Andrew, my dear. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't joke about this. Why? Am I, am I getting your hopes up? Or maybe something else? <laughs> Say, did that vision get you? I'm out of here. Why is this such a massive issue to you? We've done way worse things together. I honestly figured it would happen eventually. Why, 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 why are you like this? Why would you say this? Why would you think this? I... Wow, what a landmine, huh? Well, yeah. Ah, uh, forget it. Forget this. Forget this whole thing. Okay, I, I thought I was muted for a second. Fine. But that was clearly a vision, so it'll probably come up sooner or later. Oh, in your last vision, a guy slit our throats. Yeah, here we are. So, let's leave it at that. Alright then, if you say so. Andrew sweeps the elephant under the, the rug and calls it a day. Anyway, let's go throw mom and dad into the ocean, yeah? This demon, I swear to god, he's such a troll. Oh, game's frozen. Well, oh, no it isn't. Wow. It freezes and then... I hate you. That's not my fault, the stupid bag ripped on its own. I don't care, hurry up and pick them up. Thank god no one else is here at this hour. Room, room. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light. Just in case someone, uh, someone does pass by. Uh, what? Uh, oh, there we go. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do we make sure the skulls sink? They'll probably be fine. Well, in that case... 
I bet I can throw further than you. Bet you can't. Oh yeah? Definitely. On the count of three. One, two... Ah! Oh, what's that? Looks like I won. Filthy cheat. Nope. You never said pushing wasn't allowed. Oh yeah? Well, here's your fucking prize, jackass. A fist to the face. Ah, hug. Why, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're the... Uh, You're a little different lately. Am I no fun anymore? Hmm, more like... Let me think. Have you been sleeping lately? Are you actually looking for a fight? I'm not talking about that, I mean just in general. Your insomnia and nightmares, how are those? Uh... It's been decent, all things considered. Yeah. Unexpectedly, you did seem to be doing just fine. Well, don't be happy for me or anything. <laughs> Andy is all grown and... Is all grown and doesn't need me anymore. Andy is dead. I don't think he needs anything. Even so, there's the trinket too. You're apparently not the only one allowed to use it, so there's that. I don't know about that, but it certainly showed me one way to keep him around. <laughs> eh, I suppose. Right, I want to see pissed. We don't know what's coming next. It's pretty hard to plan what to do now. Uh, right, so what do we do? The money has bought us some time, but we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really though? Can we just live in the car and mug random people for a living? That's just not going to work for very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. And can we buy fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them and I'll get right on that. Ah, that cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them. Probably not though. Stop being such a defeatist. Let's take a look. Let's take a look-see. It's a crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also, that motel was the only one letting us stay with, with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car in some random, in some random parking lot, since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever. Let's get going. I had a mole here? Are you coming or what? In a minute, let me finish. Waste of time and money, love it. Uh-huh. Glad to hear it. End of episode 2. Wait, hold on. Save the game. You can continue here once episode 3 burial has been updated. Okay. Hold on, what was that cliffhanger? Hold up. Uh, I think it was here? Yes. Hold on, let me... On. Let me put the flowers. The stream crash. Did the fucking stream crash? Are you joking me? Are you fucking with me right now? Um. Maybe it's fine. 
What's the... Okay, it's fine, but... Jesus Christ. And finally, you monster. <laughs> I want to see what happens if you say never. Oops, wrong one. Never. Nah. Thank God. Though it sincerely doesn't matter to you one way or the other. It only matters that he is around. Always around. So, should he be open to such endeavors? You'd have no qualms about indulging him. What stronger leverage is there than that? But since he has... Since he has a better head on his shoulders than you, it's a pointless pursuit. If anything... Him being so unwilling would tip the odds in his favor, so forget it. Hold on, I got a message. Um... What a warped sense of humor the demon has. <laughs> well, they got its point across. No freebies. That vision had better not cost us a real one. Well, whatever it did or didn't, there's at least one more vision left. Well, either way. Now that this little debacle has passed us, wanna go throw our pants into the ocean? Absolutely, let's go! I hate you. It's not my fault, this stupid bag ripped on its own! I don't care, hurry up and pick them up! Just go. Thank god no one is here at this hour. Vroom vroom. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light. Just in case somebody does pass by. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do we make sure the skulls sink? They'll probably be fine. Into the ocean they go. Well, there they went. So they did. Should we recite a prayer or something? Let's not get too sanctimonious here. I feel like we should... I don't know... Say something? 
to put it past us for closure. Closure for what exactly? I don't know, it was just a thought. I'm starting to think you want me to be upset. I'm just worried. I know I don't give a shit, but I thought you did. I did. Nah, fine, let me think. Take your time. Dear mom and dad. Thanks for giving me life. It's been awful. Thanks and thanks for giving Ashley life. She too has been awful. <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not want me to share my thoughts after all? Some eulogy this is, but go on. Sorry for selling your souls. That was very rude of us. But you sold ours first, so that makes that makes us even, doesn't it? And that's all I have to say. Maybe he has changed after all. You seem a bit down. Are you sure you're not the one who wanted to say something? If so, then go for it. It's not that... Then what? Say, now that this has been dealt with, are we in the clear? Honestly, I have no idea. There's always the possibility I overlooked something. That's right. And I bet you did. Huh? I bet you fucked up bad. And we're just waiting to get hauled off to jail right now. Right now. Death row, here we come. Wow, thanks Ashley. Really? Wait to put my mind at ease. Hehe. <laughs> You've got nothing to fear, as long as I'm here with my trinket. I don't know. Didn't you just say the last vision was useless? Foolish, Andrew. If we'd be in trouble, surely the vision would have shown me that instead. You're so confident in pulling these assumptions out of your ass. But I hope you're right. Don't even worry, just leave it all to me. But anyway, what should we do now? Leave it all to you, huh? Our next move, Andrew. Planet. Hmm, well... The money has bought us some time, but we still need to find our new ourselves new identities. Do we really, though? Can we just live in the car and mug random people for a living? That's just not going to work for very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. Then, can we buy fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them and I'll get right on that. Ah, that cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them. Probably not, though. Stop being such a defeatist. Let's go take a look-see. It's a crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also, that motel was the only one letting us stay with cash only. Fine. We're leaving the car in some random parking lot. Since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that man's- For that hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever. Let's get going. I had them all here? Are you coming or what? In a minute, let me finish this. Waste of time and money. I love it. Uh-huh. Glad to hear it. Uh, that was sort of the same, but not really. Um... Alright, let's do a different one. We got flower. Okay, let's do... Broken Heart. Sunshine. Heart. Okay, so that does nothing. Alright. Click Sunshine. There we go. It seems the same path to take. Enter? Yeah. Oh, what up? Oh, hello. A spirit? Found an empty bottle in the trash. Where I belong. Guess what? It's locked. Never would have guessed. Oh, there, the key is right there, though. The rocks won't budge from this side. Then go up! Bottle the spirit. Ah. 
out of the spirit. Oh. Did I fuck up? I think I might have. Or not? I can't really tell. There's a rope of some sort above, but you can't reach it. Find out. There's nothing to step on. Um, There's no flowers. Ah, uh, shit. Dig through the trash a little bit more. Nope. Nope. <sighs> there are no flowers. Well, um, still locked. That might be a problem. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? You know what? I'm. I think I. I think I know how this. How this works. Got flower, and then are not. So I made a mistake. Never mind. Well, too late now. Got a heart. Finally, you monster. Anything here that I missed? Okay. Wait, are these flowers? The flowers have yet to bloom. Oh, I didn't even notice. Bottle the spirit. Bottle the spirit. The flowers have yet to bloom. Bottle the spirit. Do I maybe, uh, no. Oh, there's something here, but how am I supposed to get there? Um, okay. I'm budge from this side. I'm budge from this side. So it has to go over here. But then how do I, you can't reach it. Okay, so then what? Ah, game. Don't do that. Still locked. Oh! Snap the branch off from the tree. Got a stick. There we go. See? Use the stick to pull down the rope ladder. There we go. Finally. So I reset for no reason. Great. Got watering can. Water some flowers. Oh, there's two needed. Bottle of spirit. Bottle of spirit. An entity has appeared. Interesting. There's not enough sticks to carry your weight. Uh... Take the ladder, maybe? Or uh, not? Uh... More sticks. More sticks. Okay, how do I find more sticks? Or... That's hell. More sticks, okay. There we go. A loose sticks breaks that breaks off. More? Place down all the sticks, alright. There you are, finally. It's into the bottle with you now. Just kidding, ha ha ha. Let's get out of here before it finds us. Is that Andrew? Or, I guess not. Andrew? Andrew, where are you? 
right here. What the hell? Don't just run off like that. Did you see any visions? I take it that you didn't? Nah, I couldn't sleep. Well, I think I saw some vision, but it didn't seem like anything important. I was just collect collecting ghosts or something. Nothing about getting caught? Nope, not a thing. Huh, okay. I guess that's a good sign. Wait. Did you say you couldn't sleep? Yes. Oh my. For a moment there, I thought you had changed. What are you on about? <laughs> nothing, nothing. So, what's eating at you? Come on, you can tell me all about it. No, I don't know. Something about getting caught red-handed? Not the parenticide itself. Come on, let's go ditch the bones already. Every second we wasted is a second we'd risk getting caught. Oh, I was about to say, like, wait, it's not, it's not, uh... Okay, so, don't stray too far into the light. Just in case someone does pass by. Andrew drops a bag with the bones, uh, with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do we make sure the, the skulls sink? They'll probably be fine. Into the ocean they go. Well, there they went. So they did. Should we recite a prayer or something? Let's not get too sanctimonious here. I feel like we should, I don't know, say something? To put it past us for closure. Closure for what exactly? I don't know, it was just a thought. I'm starting to think you want me to be upset. I'm just worried. I know why I don't give a shit, but I thought you did. I did. Ah, fine. Let me think. Take your time. Dear mom and dad, thanks for giving me life. It's been awful. And thanks for giving Ash. <laughs> and thanks for giving Ashy life. She too has been awful. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not want me to share my thoughts after all? Some eulogy this is, but go on. Sorry for selling your souls, that was very rude of us. But you sold you sold ours first, so that makes us even, doesn't it? And that's all I have to say. Maybe he has changed after all. You seem a bit down. Are you sure you're not the one who wanted to say something? If so, then go for it. It's not that... Then what? Say, now that this has been dealt with, are we in the clear? Honestly, I have no idea. There's always the possibility I overlooked something. That's right, and I bet you did. Huh? I bet you fucked up bad. And we're just waiting to get hold off to Joe right now. Death bro, here we come. Wow, thanks Ashley. Really? Really? Way to put my mind at ease. Hehe. <laughs> Got nothing to fear as long as I'm here with my trinket. I don't know. Didn't you just say the last vision was useless? Foolish, Andrew. If we, if we'd be in trouble, surely the vision would have showed me something that uh, would have showed me that instead. You're so confident in pulling these assumptions out of your ass, but I hope you're right. Don't worry, just leave it all to me. But anyway, what should we do now? Just leave it all to you, huh? Our next move, Andrew. Plan it. Um. Well. The money has bought us some time, but we still need to f we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really though? One. Anyway, can we just live in a car and mug random people for a living? That's just not going to work for very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. 
then can we buy fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them and we'll get right on that. Ah, the cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them. Probably not though. Something such a defeatist. Let's go take a look, see. It's a crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also, that motel was the only one letting us stay with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car in some random parking lot. Since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever, let's get going. I had a mole here? Are you coming or what? In a minute, let me finish this. Waste of time and money, I love it. Uh-huh, glad to hear it. End of episode 2, great. Save game. Uh, which one was it? This one? Yes. Okay, now let's see what happens when we put the knife. Remove knife? No, no, no. Keep the knife. It's locked. Or not, I guess. Enamored evening. Oh, okay. Uh, so there's no... Okay, so the knife doesn't actually do anything. Alright. Then I guess that's it. 